Wow, Ethan, great move. Hello, everybody. It is Friday. A beautiful Friday. I'll tell you why. Because today is our beautiful boy's uh, birthday. Brucey's birthday. Yeah. <laughs> he turned two today. What do they say when you turn the number that the day is? Isn't there a name for that? Golden birthday. Yeah. This is golden this is birthday. Golden birthday. Wow. Big news. Oh, boy. You won't remember it. <laughs> Shame. So, uh, but anyway, the reason I actually say that, other than to uh, pay honor to my beautiful son, is that we're going to leave at four. Because I want to spend time with our boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we got a really cool present and... Um, Cupcakes and stuff that I want to. We got them a kitchen set. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> like a little mini kitchen. So cute. Yeah, they'll love that. Um, so that's what. So I'm gonna try to cram. We're gonna cram today. <laughs> We're gonna. Yeah. Ducky has something in his mouth that I don't know. He's already unidentified job object in mouth. Thank you to Sh Shopify. Wow, we love Shopify. We sure do. We sure do. They're the best. Thank you for your support. Quick shout out to Teddy Fresh. Today we are um, ah. beginning a new method of release mm -hmm. where we'll be doing, instead of dropping the whole collection at one time, we will be releasing them. <clears throat> we'll be releasing them, I guess, like slowly throughout the month. Yes, sometimes it will be one item like today. We released this blanket, which I'm shocked to find out that it's already sold out. I know, I didn't even get to talk about it. It's yeah. so, it is really cool, though. Check out this throw blanket. It's so sick, actually. That is cool. Uh, thank you. And you can't have it. <laughs> it's out of well, my, well, right, it's sold out. So if you guys want to stay on top, make sure to follow us on social medias and stuff. Yes, yeah, so sometimes You can get a be, jump on it. If there's a group of items that kind of go together, like a jacket and pants that's a set or something like that, It'll be released in one day, um, and <clears throat> there may be like a couple of day break or one day break, but it's almost gonna be like an everyday release throughout the week. And you know what? It's better for a lot of reasons, but one of them is like, it's a really can be complicated and a pain when you're waiting for a few straggling pieces, you know, mm -hmm. and it's like, yeah. you can release them as they come. Mm -hmm. <sighs> and also I feel like sometimes, um, I've, I see it a lot in my personal life where people will see me wear something Teddy Fresh and they're like, oh, when is it coming out? And I'll be like, it's already out. Um, it's just when the whole collection comes out at once, I think it's easy to like miss right. stuff or it's hard for us to get to talk about everything and really show everything. Yeah. So we want to try this new approach so we can give each item its own focus. Right. So there it is, teddyfresh.com. Follow us on social media and great, and great throw blanket. Okay, good idea. So anyway, um, I don't know how much I just cut out. Probably most of it. As I was saying, my friend just sent me this article this morning. He says, hey dude, saw this crap under my article on Tech Times. Hope you are okay. Ryan Kavanaugh wins slap motion. Ethan Klein loses with damage potentially in the millions. And then I said, is this sponsored? It's on this webpage. Uh... Fuck, what was it? Like tech something? It's one of these websites where you just essentially pay people to write articles. I'm not saying mm -hmm. he did that. Right. But there are a lot of that on that website. Like if he was going to do it, it would be on that it website. It would be on a website Data. like that. Yeah. Hmm. Um, <clears throat> but he's, dude, come on, man. <sighs> Why does he keep saying he won? Thank you. <laughs> Bro, you did not win shit. You fucker. I need the max win. Well, he, did, he, he did win the slap motion. But so, just a motion. He keeps blurring the line. Right. So slap motion is essentially a motion to dismiss. Right. Based on this uh, particular clause about it being a really hard to defame public figures. And a lot of times people, public figures who have a lot of money, 
use lawsuits to silence their critics. And so yeah. this attempts to <clears throat> cut that, that, uh, that Frivolous function. Lawsuits. Yeah. Yeah. I and so, that from happening. so we filed the anti slap and the first judge, uh, denied it. But that's, again, that's not, <clears throat> that has no bearing on the actual defamation clause. It has nothing to do with that. But the, the ruling that the judge gave out was pretty, in my opinion, had a lot of problems, which is why on appeal, we're feeling very confident that we're going to win it. Feeling very confident. Are you going to publish an article in Tech Times? Would I you? should. You actually should. That would be pretty funny. I got to do it on all those websites. Just <laughs> Ethan Klein destroys Ryan Kavanaugh. Ryan Kavanaugh. <laughs> For good so when trillions search, in damages. You gotta get it so you know, like when you search somebody's name on uh, on Google and it just has like the top like article, like recent news about that. You yeah. need like a grid of like eight stories. So good. Ryan Kavanaugh. Oh, it's so oh, easy to God, do when, if, for someone that are irrelevant. <laughs> dude, if when this stuff is over and I hope it ends with us winning, it's gonna be gangbusters. Like yeah. he can't oh, yeah. do shit. Dude, I want to go crazy with that because there's website dude. where you you give them an like a, an article and they just post it on their whole fucking system. That's it. That's like, it. A hundred. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, so yeah, funny. yeah. That's I'm a service I'm interested in. I know all about that. <laughs> I, I need the max win. I mean, we don't have to win necessarily, do we? I need the max win. No, I need the max win. Because we want. I mean, I won the tortious interference one. Yeah, that could be. That's that's article worthy. Yeah, true. And then Ryan Kavanaugh tried to shut down our website. That's article. Let's look into that. Yeah, yeah. We, I don't have to look into it. We'll talk. Okay, we'll talk. And not. <laughs> and by the way, not to post anything defamatory. No, just only the facts. only to spread news some about something that's hey, really important in popular culture. Yeah, I mean, look, I started in Hollywood when I was pretty young. I think I was running the studio when I was twenty-five. How, so Ryan? I was arguably called the most powerful person in Hollywood for about ten years. And Nobody I was doing said like 40 that. Movies a year and twenty TV shows. All right, Ryan, so come on, that, man. Dude, nobody cares. You're you're angry. You're, you're bankrupt. So um, we had a lot of fun watching his uh, podcast on Patriot TV um, on Wednesday. However, the main course, as it's been described to me, the failure podcast episode one is still on the menu, my friends. <laughs> and I am very excited to review that today with you. We are eating. We are eating. We are eating good, baby. So uh, that's going to be what I want to get into here. In the meantime, let me look at this article. Actually, I'm curious. Here's Tech Times. Let's Tech see. Tech Times. This is this is one that we've actually we looked at. Before. Oh, we have. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but it, it was no way. Last oh, year. this is from last year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's mean, it's still funny that you have people in your life just randomly stumbling upon. Yeah. This, how did you yeah. stumble upon? I wonder if this is like a high traffic article because of our. Fans, or maybe no, somebody's probably... driving traffic to it. Maybe, or someone's paying for it to be promoted. But don't they have to? Disclose? That would be, I, yeah. As somebody perhaps would be plugging it with boosting it with some money. <laughs> Dude, perhaps, this maybe see, allegedly. Klein, Klein brought before the court what is referred to as anti-slap motion, which in cases like these are usually granted. Slap stand. By the way, the judge who denied it apparently like. You said it was an anomaly he, judge who He's like them never way given anti slaps. Right. Like he's given like ninety percent no anti slaps. You got a bad dice roll on that one. It Which like, is fine. Yeah. That's the judicial system is set up for that. And that's why when you go to an appellate court, there's three very experienced judges mm -hmm. right. who together make a decision. Yeah. Which is why I believe they will make the right decision. That's right. Do and the not, right thing. Do the right thing, judges. We love the judges of America though. We love them all. I need the max win. Yeah, California actually has the strongest anti-slap of the whole nation. I think probably just because of the the in the uh, entertainment industry is Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. So intimately <laughs> tied. Um, it has one of the strongest anti-slap stances with over ninety percent. Oh, so that's what he was saying. Yeah, ninety percent granted. But we'll see. Just the facts. Just the facts, just Jack. The facts. This motherfucker said this could possibly become one of the most landmark cases of his type since Hulk Hogan's case in 2016 against Gawker, oh, it, where Hulk won 140 million in damages. <laughs> Hulk Hogan with a pussy. So what funny. the fuck? Bro, why stop there? Um, you know, Fox News had to pay like a billion dollars or like 300 million dollars <laughs> yeah. to, um, what was the name of that, uh, 
uh, oh, God damn it. Dominion. Dominion. Also, the you. circumstances of the Hulk Hogan thing was a little different. What, posting his nudes? Yeah. Like <laughs> posting his porn page. videos? Yeah. Without permission? It's gay different. to bang Hulk Hogan mm, with no a difference. pussy. What did I, I believe I just read the headline of a Variety article, but okay. Great. Very exciting. <laughs> well, he is one of the uh, most powerful producers of our time. Um, so, in the meantime, we've got Ben Shapiro. Is his song really charting at number one still? The shizzle. It, it, so, uh, uh, yeah, it is. But it's, why? Well, it's the number one song on iTunes. Well, that's not meaningless. Well, mm, as an Apple fanboy, I didn't know mm. iTunes was still around. Yeah, when was the last time that you've uh, used Wait, iTunes? Isn't that what you people listen to? No, they no. use Apple that's Music. Apple Music. There's no more iTunes on Mac computers there's oh. there's a tab inside apple music that says itunes store and he's number one in that so these are people that are buying the song hold on they have, why do they have different lists why would apple have two different lists because take every, a look in the dock the next link right under the one that you clicked yeah that's the app this is the actual wait what the hell yeah. hold on hold the phone hold the phone so here's the actual Apple 100. Yeah, and you will find that Ben is not on. <laughs> well, hold on. Let me control F. Fact. Got, yeah, Apple. It's not there, Ben, oh boy. Ben and Jerry. <laughs> yes. You're not even in the top 100, dude. No. Nah. Which, of course he isn't. But yeah. Uh, so iTunes, then what does this uh, mean? He's, he's the number... boomers that watch Daily Wire, uh, I guess, still buy MP3s on iTunes occasionally. Okay. And that was enough, too. Uh, <laughs> that is pretty funny. They don't yeah. know yet. <laughs> That is, that is fun. Indeed. Indeed. So this is, Thank you, Ben. This is people without a music subscription that just wanted to drop 99 cents to own the track. Correct. Nice. Right. Legends. Okay, well, congratulations to Ben for being on iTunes. Top. Indeed. Indeed. Uh, apparently, he sold only 100 of them, and he's number one. <laughs> well, well, well said. Good stuff. All right, Ben, I don't need you to parrot everything I say. <laughs> um, anyway, here he is bragging about his uh, rap career uh he's had a lot to say about it let's take a look oh god that's kind of funny i'm not even gonna i'm not gonna admit like it's not funny he's out here with chains one of the top comments is if it's anyone else this would be charming shtick but Benny <laughs> Boy's hatred of rap and black people in general is True. well documented yeah i mean the guy yeah, when he does it it feels like blackface <laughs> the guy famously said rap isn't real music right. and anyone that thinks so is like an yeah, idiot. Yeah, so it's like it it obviously and openly is you know trashing on it so the culture. Well, okay. A That's weird. a good point. That's a good point. We hate Ben Shapiro here, don't we, folks? <laughs> sup, sup, sup. I mean, it's funny That's that right. he's embarrassing himself like that. Don't get me Indeed. wrong. I'm not going to say it's not funny this video. It's good shtick. Yeah. Does he hate black people? Probably. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. All you folks have been sticking around for my... Ben, do you hate black people? Yes or no? Mm. Indeed. He does. Okay. Indeed. Oh, wow. He, he oh, does wow. hate them. It's weird to... Cut and dry. Do you hate... Is black people your least favorite category... Uh, ethnic category or... Mm, I doubt Indeed. that. I think there's one more about <laughs> black people for him. Allahu Akbar. Death to America. Oh, you think right. the, yeah, yeah. the Muslims yeah, yeah, are yeah. his least favorite? No, actually... Death Maybe to the Jews, right. death to Israel. Or specifically Arabs? Or yeah, Arabs, he's, yeah. yeah, Arabs, yeah. He says mm. we bathe in sewage. Okay, do you hate... <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> that was he like, did have some crazy... Like, what, yeah. that? <laughs> what did he say? We gotta put, he said some really wild shit, man. Yeah, let me find him. Okay, Ben, do you hate black people or Arabs more, if you had to decide? Mm. Indeed. Indeed. I'm sorry. Not, both. Just, I think he said yeah, both. Not, Indeed. Not bathe in sewage. Arabs like to bomb crap and live in open sewage. <laughs> they oh, they love, don't bathe in sewage. They just live in open sewage. Yeah. They love to that live in open sense, sewage. Because well well I was going to well say, said. bathing in sewage isn't really bathing. Right, right. right. That's Counterproductive. Not did you know you that... Um, the verbiage. Did you know that in Egypt, the canals there are not full with water, but just tons of sewage? It's just sewage. And then they yeah. swim in it. It's, it's recreation yeah. time. It's savage. <laughs> it's crazy. All right, go ahead, Ben. It seems made up. It, se yeah, that's <laughs> it almost seems made up. How do you get so much shit? How can you get so much shit? <laughs> it's really wild, because I think Islam may be the only religion where you're supposed to, technically you're supposed to like wash yourself off five times a day before you pray. 
course not. Five does. times a day? Yeah. Before you pray, you're supposed to. You're not supposed to take a full bath, but you're supposed to like w- wash your hands, your arms. Five your times? Face. Yeah. With soap? Yeah. That seems like it would dry your shit out. I mean, every day. I guess I don't know. Not everyone uses <laughs> soap. It? Yeah. I'm concerned for my for my Muslim <laughs> brothers, yeah, brothers yeah. and sisters. Out there. Not everyone uses soap. I'm not sure about this soap aspect. Well, yeah, and just as long as you, you, you moisturize after. Yeah. God well, Jews do that too. You know that. But but the Jewish uh, custom is really light. They just take a bucket of water and pour it over the hands, so it's like symbolic. Okay. It's not really like get in there with some soap and get ready for surgery type mm. of shit. Death to the Jews. Death. Well, Easy, my, Ben. My my aunt's <laughs> the one that kind of taught us, and she kind of has a cleaning phobia. So I don't know if that's part of it or that was just oh, a little shit. extra ingredient she added. Yeah. Interesting. The the soap part, but the actual cleaning up. Oh, the new thumbnail camera made is really good. You like it? Did you update it? <laughs> uh, I did, although it's still showing me the old one. Sometimes this happens while we're live. It, it it's updated. I think it's updated. Yeah, today we're closing the book on on. Uh, well, let me f- go ahead, Ben. I barely got even got into this. Take it away. Hip hop talk, because after all, Entire amount. I am America's number one hip hop artist. Dr. Dreidel, Ben and M, Jupac, Ben with yeah. the Benjis. That's right, for shizzle. That We're was to- racist. Uh, yeah, see what I mean? It's just like for shizzle. He that was racist. Feels bad coming from him. Say that again. I mean, this shtick, this shtick was old in the '90s of like white white. For shizzle. You know, stiff guy pretending to be a rapper, but... Ben, say it one more time. Bad. For shizzle. Okay, just say the N-word already. I mean, come on. Jupac. Can I say that? Is that funny? I mean... <laughs> you guys didn't button it. Mm. I'm saying Ben wants Indeed. to say the N-word so bad. Just do it, brother. Indeed. You don't need to do all this for shizzle and all this. Well, spe- well said. It's off. I'm kidding, you know. Fuck. About the number one song in America, according to iTunes, and that is fact, my boy Tom McDonald. Now, I'll admit, my boy Tom did most of that. Straight up, do you know who, uh, old McDonald had a farm, it's about Tom, he's so white trash, the dude is, he's old McDonald. He is old McDonald. <laughs> For shizzle. For shizzle. Heavy lifting on this song. But, I was present, and indeed, I did rap. And, um, I've contended before. That if you can speak to a beat, he you can like rap. He's at a bar mitzvah. <laughs> I'm still not convinced. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the pitfall of this, having the stature of a 13 year old boy. <laughs> right. Yeah. He, I mean, he looks like it. He looks yeah. like he just fucking. He's on <laughs> dance floor listening to LMFAO or some shit. Ben <laughs> definitely tore his Torah portion up. Like he blasted oh! that shit. Oh, he crushed that. Yeah, he crushed that. How did and you this all is a meritocracy right here. You all did that, right? Yeah, I did my Torah portion. Did you crush it? Um, I got through it. You got through the it. The thing is, like I explained to Eli, it's different in America because mm-hmm. you you have to memorize like pages and pages of words in a language you don't understand at all. Yeah. Like you just read it and that's easy. Right. I cheated. You What's cheated? That? I had the phonetics like in front of me. Oh, dude, does it oh. count? <laughs> I don't know, dude. Are you still a boy? Maybe. Oh, <laughs> I wish they let me do that. Do you know how stressful it was trying to prepare for that shit? It was, God, it damn. was pretty, it was pretty brutal and like, um, but yeah, I had the phonetics in front of me. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher b'ri mitzvah tov v'tzivan v'har lekner shel, amen. What? I don't know. Le'hamarav It's all fragmented in my mind. Will our boys be bar mitzvah? I don't know. I could, t- I could take it or leave it on. Honestly, we, both of us <laughs> don't really care about all that stuff, so. Yeah, I'm not super into it. Yeah. yeah matter to me i don't like the whole because the thing is when you go to temple like that there's mad religious indoctrination yeah and just i don't i don't vibe with the with the vibes yeah i don't vibe with the vibes if the he shizzle. if he was like if one of our sons was like i want to do a bar mitzvah because all the, i'm i care about judaism for some reason i'd say all right let's go <laughs> i mean i don't know maybe he rent you know maybe. yeah i guess you don't you know. never maybe. know maybe he'll be into it doing... i'm not going to discourage him but yeah I can't imagine a young boy choosing to do that. Like all of us were like, I, "This is the worst. This is the <laughs> yeah. worst year of our life." I, I remember. Sure, I didn't have a choice. I'm sure he's <laughs> Me neither. Just gonna care about what we're buying him for his birthday. <laughs> I I agree that that's probably yeah. All right. So anyway, congratulations to Ben for being number one on iTunes with 100 sales. 
And so I present to you, oh, without any further ado, the number one. Yeah, we, we just, doing well. It's number one on iTunes, but iTunes is not the real chart. The real chart okay. is Apple Music. iTunes is for boomers that buy a track for 99 <laughs> cents. So I presume he must have sold like at least 75. Mm-hmm. His song <laughs> in America. Facts. Because, okay, that was confusing me because it's like, there's no way any f- actual fan of music is listening to this song. There's no way. Yeah. Even yeah. if you're a Ben Shapiro fan, you're not listening just to that song. It's and the weird boomers that beat the shit up on Facebook or whatever. <laughs> True. Probably crushed on Facebook. Facts. Um, <laughs> Pookie? Petition for Ethan Deal to recreate iconic Pookie? TikTok? Yeah. I, I, oh. Somebody at work was telling me the same thing. <laughs> Dude, this is... Okay. <laughs> I don't know anything about these people. I love them. But this is the worst thing. I hated everything about it. <laughs> it's so bad. Are they big creators? They are now. I don't know how big they were before, but this is like a very popular trend. Yeah, Wait, this is their thing. Her, their last name is Fuck It. Oh no, really? Puck It. I thought really? there was a like H. I uh, no, there's just a P. Puck It. Oh, puck I it. thought it was Fuck, fuck It. <laughs> Campbell Hunt. Puckett and her husband Jet. His name is Jet. That's it, bro. Jet. Oh, that's all you need to know about this dude. His name is Jet. Yes. It's like the F fell off the top. Jeff. That's a name. Jet. <laughs> J E T T. He went viral for their outfit of the day video. Here it is. It has over six million views. Love that. In the video, Jet calls his wife Pookie. <laughs> Let's go. It's almost at eight Friday million. Night. No. Date night. Taking Pookie to a new spot tonight with three other couples, and Pookie looks absolutely amazing. Pookie. Good lord, babe. I love y'all black. Good Thank lord. you. I'm wearing my Kelly. I'm so excited. And then I have on girlfriend denim, revolve little lace top, revolve sweater, and J Lo heels. Uh, I'm wearing a late Christmas present from Campbell. Jack is Gutteridge <laughs> shirt. Gutteridge also at the store out of Italy. Hermes belt. Jeans as always. I was like, wait, what is, what is always the pa- the pants? Hold on. Jeans as always. And <laughs> All right. Hey, for everybody that follows his fashion tips, you know what it is. An ostrich Luke Aziz tonight. Damn. <laughs> Somehow it seems like he's wearing an <laughs> expensive bag. outfit according to what yeah. he said, but it does not look pa- expensive. Page her, her jeans. Her bag is like $30,000. And Paige <laughs> jeans oh. are, are pretty really? expensive, too. They make a good jean, but they are expensive. So there's like a shoehorn effect where... If you spend a lot of money on clothes, they're nice. But then there's another tier of, of pricing for people that are so rich, they don't even like care at all. And then you end up spending like 10, 10 20, $30,000 on a jacket just because you it's feel the need. Can. Yes, because you feel that you, ha- you have to do that. That's and the like sh- old money fashion. Yeah. Right. Like what he's wearing. Yeah. That's like old southern old money stuff mm-hmm. so what ends up happening is the shoehorn effect is that they come back around and then look like they bought it at costco <laughs> like it doesn't fit him well yeah. it just it looks corny it's too long why is it so long it, the jacket looks like shit on him it just it doesn't yeah. look i mean but i like that he's simping for his wife he loves yeah. his wife and it, that's is that, that, that a birkin she's carrying yes okay that's that's <laughs> my level money that's why shit. i was saying it's like thirty thousand dollars probably and she said Revolt. Is that an expensive brand? Revolve is like, they have expensive stuff. Okay. And cheaper stuff. It's kind of okay. like, they carry all kinds. So, okay. I don't know. Fire man. Fire man. I love them. Uh, Fire well, Unfortunately, it was just found out. I just read this right now. Uh, she had to apologize for resurfaced photos. Uh, uh, she oh, made a post. No, not the Parabellum balls. <laughs> <laughs> It probably was that. Was that <laughs> okay, what, what happened? Uh, old not, clothes were herself wearing antebellum. 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 Ah, God damn it. It was antebellum. It was. Was. Well, he was Bro, happy. every person Parabellum. from the South, yep. no offense, Sam, but it seems like <laughs> every other person, how about that, from the South has participated in these crazy antebellum balls, uh-huh. which is like themed of like plant back on the plantation. Uh, and yeah. apparently it's pretty normal there. I think a lot of people like, I don't know if they happen that much anymore, but like 20 years ago, it was totally normal for people to have these parties. And I think a lot of the people there maybe didn't understand the context right. of it just to give them, because, you know, just to give them a little bit of benefit of the doubt. But now anyone who's going viral, that's what happened to um, the guy who got fired from, from, yeah, uh, yeah, from uh, Bachelor. Bachelor, Bachelor was, right. Yeah. 
He got fired for defending someone who went to a parabellum ball. Yeah. He didn't even go. Antebellum. 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 Wasn't it the girl he, the bachelor ended up choosing? <laughs> parabellum is. They're still together. Her, and they're still together. Because. Oh. oh, yeah. So the bachelor was a black dude. And the girl he chose is a white southern girl. Mm -hmm. And then it came out towards the end of the show that she's been doing mm -hmm. these antebellum balls. Mm -hmm. And it turned into a pretty big. Mm -hmm. But they're they're still together, so they broke up. I mm -hmm. think for the optics of it. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's been like two or three years, and they're still together. So I'm not gonna hate on that. Well, yeah. There you go, making it work. Yeah. Um, I noticed someone in chat say it's big in Southern Greek life, and that is true. Um, it's something that like sororities do, especially like in South Georgia, where she went to college. She went to college in South Georgia. Mm -hmm. um, they do like antebellum. Themed, or like it's mostly like the fashion, I guess, mm -hmm. that they not defending it at all, but yeah, that's <laughs> they that's, dress like the the misses did back on plantation day. Well, didn't that band Lady Antebellum they had to change their name, right? They go by like Lady A now, <laughs> Lady A. We know what that A stands for, yeah. So, wait, what happened at an Antebellum ball? Really? What happened? Well, I think it's just a it's just a party that's themed like an old, old time, it's like a costume party. But then that doesn't sound that bad if it's just a well, except party. the co the thing that you're the dressing up as is, is slave, slave owner. owner. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, that, <laughs> okay, but owner. no, there was a specific fashion sense during that time, not just a you know. Oh yeah, I, mean? I get well, it. Yeah. The photos of her, she was in front of a Confederate flag. That's bad. Okay, well that, that that's <laughs> different. <laughs> okay, see that's what I'm wondering. They must be doing more than that. Like if they must be having Confederate flags and shit like that. Sure, yeah. Because then uh, then yeah, you're like, oh yeah, this is about slavery. Mm -hmm. Right, because otherwise it's just essentially it's just like Victorian era party. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like exactly. Is. Okay, so there, yeah. So here's here's her apology. Mrs. Puckett. As some of you have seen well, some he... some old photos of mine recently <laughs> resurfaced. <laughs> Do we have those? I have yeah! okay. come on down to the Anton Bellum Ball. I'll tell you the South will rise, brother. The have... Dixie will never fall. God long live their Confederacy, boy. Woo -wee! And I'll tell you this, it's not about state rights. It's about slavery. We're fighting for slavery. <sighs> um, she continues, At the time these photos were taken, I was 20. I didn't fully understand the impact of my actions the way I do now. 12 years later, I fully apologize for the harm this may have caused for some and take full responsibility. Jet and I love sharing our lives with you all and getting to know our community on such an intimate level. Sounds like maybe too intimate. Because we live our lives so publicly, everything is on the internet, even my mistakes. We hope to continue to bring you with us on our journey as we continue to learn and grow. Honestly, I think that's a that's a good apology. I mean, she did it when she was 20 and hasn't... Is he being tethered? Um, if she did this when she was 20 and hasn't, like, done any Confederate parties since, I think that's a fair apology, right? Yeah. yeah, she's good. Just don't, I'll tell you what, man, just don't let me see that Confederate flag fly no more. Mm-hmm. Um, that's exciting. Oh, God, this is, okay, this is the photo? I believe, there must be more. This is the only one I found so far, but because the article mentions one of her in front of a Confederate flag, I'm guessing there's more. Yeah, this it has to be because this is just like I said, doesn't mm -hmm. mean anything really. So there wasn't a Confederate flag in one of the photos, or th is there other? It sounds like yes. There it was. sounds like there's other ones. Yeah. Oh, okay, got yeah. it. Well, the Confederate flag. Were you referring to the Rachel Kirk Connell picture, the Bachelor girl? I haven't seen that one. Show me that one. Oh, no. I I, I don't know if, if she was in front of a Confederate flag. I just heard that from someone in here. I can try find it. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's not a photo you want to take. Um, images of the TikToker, whose real name is uh, Campbell Puckett, showed her in front of a Confederate flag wearing antebellum and Melania Trump costumes. Yeah. What's the problem? That's Wait, the, what? What it said. Melania Trump costume. Says, that's what it says. I mean, use your imagination. Give me a break. <laughs> Wasn't that supposed to be years ago, though? Didn't, isn't that what she said? She said it was 15 years ago. She was a fan of Melania Trump? Well, this, years ago? this is People Magazine. I don't know. Maybe. 
Because, I mean, Trump was a big deal. I guess. He had already had one failed bid for... She's an old head, dude. She's been MAGA before there was MAGA. Respect, man. <laughs> um, so you guys want us to recreate it? Okay. Yeah, the antebellum Confederate flag <laughs> yeah. photo? Yeah, you should recreate yeah, that. With or without that one. Yeah. Uh, the Pookie thing? Um, you know, I, I, there just was a post on the subreddit about it. But Here's another one from their catalog. And again, I'm not saying this to be mean. They seem nice and all that. But he looks like shit. Like, and I'm not a fashion. I don't. I, I'm not one to talk. But he looks corny as hell in that outfit. <laughs> yeah, she and like great. The slicked but... back hair. It's just there's the vibes are off mm -hmm. because he's trying to wear this casual game day kind of outfit. But you, you slicking back the hair like he's in a suit. Yeah, we're telling two different stories. That's a that's a tough look to pull off. You have to be like Antonio Banderas to put your hair back like that. True. And even him, though, the thing is, he doesn't slick it back all the way. It's a little curly. It's a little messy. Yeah, it's messy, curly in the back. You know I mean? it's, it's nice. Yeah. Pookie looks fire, though. Yeah. Also, it looks like he may have bought fire this shirt when he was a little bit lighter. When he was a little bit thinner. And trust me, take it from a guy who knows. Potentially, yeah. I guess they started dating and got engaged 10 months later. Married nice. shortly after. That's good. Probably were like, you did Anthem Bell and Balls? Me too. <laughs> 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 I kid. But uh, let's take a look. Very yeah, she looks good. I like her outfit. Thank you. It's giving a um, mob wife era. Because that's a new Jeff trend. I just learned it. That's what? a new trend in fashion, mm -hmm. the mob wife. Oh, mob. It's not giving mob wife. It's the fur coat, I think. That's the only... What are we going to do about you? I turned yesterday. Mob wife is the, is the book that's in right now. I actually do love the mob mob wife look. Yeah, I mean I've always been but I'm fully embracing it now. Love the mob so wife. I'm wearing my Kelly. I'm obsessed with her. This vintage fur is from my grandmother, and I'm wearing Adidas Samba's girlfriend. I, I could be off base here, and not that you know height matters at all, but I'm getting the vibe. He's like five three, and she's like four eight something. <laughs> do you feel? Do you know what I mean? I do. Look how big that look how big that fucking door is compared to him. <laughs> like he's five three max. That's one small man. That's one small man. Jeez, Buzz. Friend, jeans, and Aritzia top. Love this top. That's called Aritzia. Aritzia top. Yes. Oh, Very cute. What are you wearing? Wearing my rugby jersey, page yeah. jeans. It's actually a mystery pair of boots that I was given as a gift years ago. They're some of my favorites, but I don't even know what they are. They're really cute. Okay, we're gonna go to the chat Hmm. They do love each other, it seems like. Yeah. And that's all that matters, really, at the end of the day, isn't it? And not going to Anton Bell and Balls. <laughs> uh, there's another thing I wanted to do. We can put it off, because there's so much I want to talk about, but somebody brought up which I hate that they brought up, yeah. is that when we did the period pain simulator, mm -hmm. I theorized that because I had so much fat, it made it more painful because it seemed to me that I was experiencing more pain than everybody else. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so now people are like, oh, you, lost, you lost the weight, so why don't you go electrocute yourself again? So oh. thank you to that suggestion, but we should try it. We should try it. We should. Um, it will take me just a minute to set this up. In the meantime, so you think we're we should at 38 do it now? minutes. Why don't you do the ad read, and then by the time you're done, we can shock the hell out of you. Okay. Sounds good. Ducky, you're so cute. Ducky. He's calmed down a little bit. He's so much trouble. He's such a little <laughs> He's just trouble. just a menace, man. Such a rascal. Just like a child, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> when we were getting for work this morning, he just thrashed the room. Like, there's pee pads he tore up. They were not peed on. They're new. But he eviscerated them. He got a hold of, like, the toilet paper because mm -hmm. it's in, like, leaping distance <laughs> and shredded that. Oh, my God. He's amazing. He'll take stuff out of the trash. It's just... Yeah, the trash. We had to lift the trash non -stop. cans off the ground because he, he just mob inside of it. Non-stop on this boy. <laughs> He's passed out now. All right, thank you to our <laughs> wonderful sponsor. Please consider uh, supporting... Shopify! In my opinion, Shopify is one of the best companies on the internet today in terms of like e-commerce and everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, not just in terms of e-commerce, 
In terms of any online service, it's such a fantastic company, such a fantastic product. As you guys might know, we did Teddy Fresh on Shopify from day one, and that was one of the best decisions we ever made in creating our business. Absolutely. From the first day, we knew nothing. We didn't, neither of us knew how to code. Neither of us knew how to do hosting or web bulk, any of all that, all that stuff. And somehow, the two of us were able to get on Shopify, mm -hmm. put together some type of website, and launch our business, just the two of us, not knowing anything. And not only that, it ran smoothly, it was never offline, you know, and, and again, it, it empowers people to really go into e-commerce with all the tools for success when you, when you frankly know nothing about starting mm -hmm. it. It really is empowering in that way. Yeah. Um, they also have tons of uh, tools and support. Tons of apps. Tons of apps. And the, all the apps are super professionally run by third parties. There's so many that we use that are invaluable that to adding to our, our business. And they also have, uh, from the beginning, it's built so that you can grow it as big as you want. Our growth has been absolutely seamless. And um, there's company, there's huge companies on Shopify. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to speak one because I don't want to be wrong. But like billion, multi-billion dollar companies, like the big, big ones, mm -hmm. they're on Shopify. I believe it. It's good for everybody, man. It really is something. So, if you are, you know, selling scented soaps or offering outdoor outfits or anything in between, or if you're just drop shipping scams on Facebook, you know, I guess if, if yeah, if you're doing any of that stuff, <laughs> uh, Shopify will help you sell it everywhere from their all in one e commerce platform to their in person POS system. Uh, that's a point of sale for all the people out there. They give you a little credit card swiper, and then you can sell stuff physically, and then it re it will send the money to your store and reduce the inventory. It's right. crazy the good. An analytics is all connected to one place, which is beautiful. It really is. Uh, so that's the POS system. Yeah, but help, uh, Shopify helps you turn browsers into buyers with the internet's best converting checkout. 36% better on average compared to other leading commerce platforms. And uh, sell more with less effort thanks to Shopify Magic, your AI-powered all-star. Still, I'm sure that's awesome. I want it. Oh, well, I've been kind of looking into it, and I think what it means is just that they have all kinds of ser services that are applying AI knowledge into mm. it. So, mm. Okay. Yeah. They got the tech. Yeah. AI is, I'm telling you, man, it's going to push some product for you. Yeah, but they got a good deal here for you guys. Um... It's time for you to break through. It's time for that next level. Let's start a business, guys. Um, here's the deal. Sign up for $1 per month trial. at shop I know it. $1 per month trial, period. At Shopify.com slash After Dark. All lowercase. So that's Shopify.com slash After Dark. Lowercase on the After Dark. Now... To grow your business, no matter what stage you're in, one more time, shopify.com slash after dark for a $1 per month trial. Thank you. And thank you to everybody for considering uh, supporting our sponsor. Thank you. All right, let's elect you. Thank you. Hell yeah. Dan, Dan brought those out suspiciously quickly, man. <sighs> I still have a lot of fat here, you know? <laughs> I saw some people pointing out that you did it here. Here. Okay. Also, I'm hairy. Does that matter? <laughs> I feel like I've still. I'm just. I'm a hedge. What other Wait, below excuses that. can we come up with? This one's too low. Okay. Okay. So there's one that will. Oh, this goes on the same side. So like here. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. So I saw some people pointing out that you did it with me like uh, four and a half months ago. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I forgot that. I don't know. Uh -huh. No, I know I did yeah. and I still yeah. bailed. Mm -hmm. But I, I think I was... You, just you were a little it, bit skinnier um, than I remember not. thinking that I was 
still fat? You definitely lost a lot of weight. You just do it quarterly now. Yeah. I mean, part of the show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, listen, I'm not going to lose. This is it. I've lost the weight. I'm I'm at 175. I wow. don't think I'm getting any thinner. So. I told Ethan I'm at 150 right now. We've never been so close. Oh, wow. I know, 25 pounds. <laughs> okay, let this be the last time. I really hate this. Okay. Let this. And nobody call me a baby. I'm just going to tear him off of me. Why am I doing this? Oh, I hate it. All right. Slowly, Dan. Don't take out your aggression on this. this <laughs> I'm starting to tingle. I know it, it, it comes all at once. Okay. I was just, Slowly. I'm feeling tingling, yeah. Just. Slowly raising. We're going to level two. Initiating transfer to level two. Right now, it's just a tiny tingle. Okay. okay. The first time you bailed at level four. Mm. No, well, oh, slow down. Well, hold on, because I don't feel it yet. So there's something, it's going to come all at once. Ah, okay. <laughs> Ah, oh, fuck. It just, I only feel it on this side. Okay, there it goes. There it goes. It just, it, it's, not, it's not pain. It just feels horrible. <laughs> I feel like my fat is frying inside my skin. Ah, fuck. Fuck this shit. <laughs> You're bailing? <laughs> <laughs> so I think the fat helped before, which was what? I, listen, I could have done it. I'm not you here. I'm not trying to prove anything. I'm not doing that shit. Listen. You say, oh, do you want to send the electric chair? No, I don't. Mm -hmm. You want to put a sponge on my head, Dan? But you would be no. pregnant if you could, right? You would if you could. Yeah. yeah. It was up to me. I'd be having all the babies. Yeah. And I would let you just chill and, you know. Mm hmm. I would let you chill. In fact, here's what I would do for you. I would give birth and then I would go home and clean and do everything <laughs> for you. And I wouldn't complain about it. So, but unfortunately I can't do that. Can't do any of that. Hmm. That's a shame. That wrist pain. It's hard for the, a do shame. a sponge. You know, the sponge just kills my uh, carpal tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So did I pass? I don't know. Uh, I think you, you mm. bailed sooner oh. than you did last time. Well, you put it up really f far, though, at the end. That was at four. I th no, I d no, you bailed you never made at three. It four. Like three and a half. Yeah, three and a half. <laughs> but you made it to four last time, so. Didn't I make it up all the way the first time? Mm. No, I'm on the no, back. You the no, 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 no. You guys put it on my back, and then well, I went up all different. the way. Why is it different? I don't know. I, well, I mean, it's different muscles. Let's put it on your back and see if, if how it is. No, I'm, I'm Ah, okay. I'm, I got up to 10. I did too, on my back. back. But enough. if you're going to poo-poo, let's put them on your back and it's see. It's fine. It's mm -hmm. fine. It's fine. <laughs> I've done it more than anyone. <laughs> you know? That's true. <laughs> uh, what else we got here? Um... Let's okay, go. so before we let's do the Austin McBroom stuff because I That's there's exactly yeah. what I was gonna say. So Austin McBroom, okay, we're gonna close the chapter on this because we've been talking about him all week and it's been a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. It really has been. Yep. <laughs> but I feel like there's been developments since our show on Wednesday that has pretty much closed the case on this. It's jumped we, it's jumped the shark. It is. It yeah. did. It jumped the shark. Now, I still have questions about if they actually got divorced. Because I, I still think, think they that did. They're getting divorced. Yeah, I think that's mm -hmm. all real. Yeah, and yeah. he's okay. All right, let's see. But there are doubters. I know. Well, we'll the find whole out. Thing might be orchestrated. So, mm -hmm. here is this post that crushed on our subreddit with zero upvotes. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, y'all! I thanks, guys. Y'all wanted to wait for the uh, to watch it on the show with us. I Perfect. appreciate that. All right, here we go. Let's see what he's up to. My girls to school. I hate when they're late and she's sleeping. Oh. oh, fuck. Shit. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, oh, stupid ass shoot. Ah, oh, my knee. Wait, Didn't my he knee. break his ankle? Huh? Didn't he break his ankle playing basketball? Um, I don't, I don't know anything about his basketball career. I think there's a funny yeah, video. No, he means recently. Yeah, we snap, watched. We the, watched the other yeah. day when he was at his friend's house and he fell out of the shoe. He rolled his ankle. Yeah. He didn't yeah. break his ankle. Yeah. Oh, he said he rolled forgive it. Forgive me. Yeah, he rolled. rolled it. Rolled it. He seems fine though. Is your point right? He's walking fine. Right. right, right. Oh. 
I mean, yeah, this is fake. It's funny though. I, I, mean, I like that he's humiliating himself My willingly. Girls to school, right. I hate when they're late. And she's... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it she, is quite she, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what's happening. Uh, we move on. A woman came to fix the AC. There was a plot line going on where oh. his um, heater broke, <laughs> and that's why he had to go live at his friend's house with the newborn baby. Uh -huh. So here is the AC repair person, and this is really out of control. Like, this, this, he should not have <laughs> put all this together. This is crazy. Here. Awesome. Guys, sometimes I have to check out the window just to make sure because people have been... The I do oh. love the idea of him in the camper and people just coming and fucking <laughs> <laughs> harassing him, knocking, saying what's up. I mean, the camper is somewhere out there and he's very public about that. Could be in a community though. I feel like with how mm -hmm. open he's been about it, it must be in a gated community right. otherwise. <laughs> otherwise, that's wild. Yeah. yeah. Hello. Oh. Hey, hello. How you doing? Hi. <laughs> Um, I'm calling. He's, I got a call for your AC work. It's not working. Yeah. Are, yeah. Are I'm you calling from a small are, AC repairs? Yeah, yeah. I get that. Are yes, Are you sure you're yes, in the right I location? I got the technician. I know where I'm doing. I got a call and I got. <laughs> this a is so obviously mm -hmm. fake. Wait till you see her. The implication of his behavior is really crazy, actually. You got mm -hmm. AC, sir. Okay. Um. Yes. There's right. a toy yes, dealer. Yes, I'm here to report. Gotcha. What's okay. going on? Where is the short problem here? Uh, the Yelp reviews real? Yeah, yeah. Why yeah. is he doubting? What's the twist? <laughs> okay, let me. Sh she show wow. The there, door. She must be like, like in a, her underwear or something, yeah. or like yeah. with a crap <laughs> bite out of her mouth. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um. So the, this is right here. It's uh. This is the the small AC unit here. Okay. okay, so we got here a little short problem. Yeah. Where is the big little unit problem. right here? Yeah. So how long did you... Okay, please get She's a little person. Uh, oh, what a twist! So he's like, yo, this little person's here to fix my AC. Are you in the right place? And they said they're it's, from... It's small AC. Small AC. Small AC. Oh. Yeah, then he goes, little problem. Oh, little God. Problem. Yeah. Oh, God. Why'd you have to do the little people... Um, Goofs. You could have done something else. Why can't a little person repair an air conditioner? Literally. There's, dude, they're probably really good at it. I mean, what's the problem? What do you mean, are the Yelp reviews real? <laughs> probably. <laughs> I know, because because she's little? <laughs> Come on, man. Pretty pretty out of pocket. Come on, man. So yeah, definitely getting, this is a, this is a shark jump moment for sure. This was it? For me, it was just like, all right, mm -hmm. I'm over it. I understand. This this is really my life. Here's oh. the thing, like, I, I and the idea of having like a zany AC repair person and filming it is is a good idea for his story arc. Mm -hmm. But the way he did it wasn't funny. No. Yeah. And also, it was just kind of mean for no reason. You know. It's just He's odd. like, oh, oh, there's a little person. Oh my god. Are you guys seeing this? She's so small. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Stupid. <laughs> She's stupid, Austin. She sounded funny though, so props to her. Um, she was playing the bit well, I yeah. suppose. Yeah, she put on a good show. So. Yeah, I was buying the character. So Dan says that's when he jumped the shark. I think he jumped the shark when he put out his new single. Um, mm. I've which, never seen that later, but yeah. Uh, this has nine million views. Damn. Okay, so it's work. So he's doing well with all this. Oh, he's still posting the Ace Family? Bro, you're not allowed to post there anymore. There's no more Ace Family. The, the family's broken. <laughs> mm -mm. Where's the Austin McBroom channel? I just want to mention, before we move on, that that lady then tries to seduce him. Well, where's that? Oh, it's, it's number C, uh, letter C in the dark. Oh, we don't need to see that. Yeah, I do. It's going to be so stupid. Bro, that, of course, that's why we're watching it. We're not watching well, it because it's good. It, it's going to be every single yeah. comment and <laughs> Reddit post. We're not watching it because it's good, Dan. All right. All right, all right. <laughs> she tried to seduce him. That's mania. That's this guy's a maniac. So, 
I think it's 20, I think it's been 20 minutes. Yeah, I'm getting in there. Okay. You know, I still have to work here. Yeah. So. Uh, Wait, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? I, I need to concentrate, you know? Oh my. Uh, I need to concentrate here, so. Uh, you know, it's getting hot. I just, <laughs> what's the problem? <laughs> Well, we haven't seen the reveal yet. What is she doing? That's got him so upset. Big Z! Oh, Fucking fired. Fucking fired. Oh. What does he want? His his friend to throw her out or something? His assistant, I guess. Yeah. Uh, you know, you cute, you hot. Um, I just. Um. He's going for the Academy Award, and he didn't. He doesn't need to do all this. Yeah. He's trying to make Catherine jealous. It's Oscar bait. Yeah. Oh, you think he so? That's a good theory. Yeah, he pro it was probably like a thought. He was like, she could also seduce True. me. True. I do maybe have a tool for you here, too. I don't need any tools. Um, I just got so out of a divorce. Can, I just got out of a Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just got out of a you divorce. Um, oh, so we can celebrate then. Mm. No, uh, are, I'm still trying to. Bien bueno, I think I've seen bueno this movie. Bien. <laughs> Say what? I said, I think I've seen this movie before. Plot line seems a little familiar. You have? No, but he definitely was inspired by something. The repair person plot line? Yeah. It's a classic. Time tried. Well, maybe, maybe, AB, it's real life mimicking art. And that's, not the other true. way around. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It'd be funny if love all of a sudden was like, I actually do think this is real. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is real. <laughs> this part's real, actually. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. What if he just could prove somehow at the end of all this that everything, everything was, real. was true? It was then all I real. Be, I'd be blown away. And yeah. I would have, I would admit that we were wrong. Here's the AC repair company. I'll sub. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Me if he too. can prove it's all real, I'm subbing. Right. I'll even put notification on. <laughs> I'll, I'll slam that bell. He was bullshitting. What? What'd you say? What? what? That's you know, I'm bueno. still trying to recover. Like I'm just, I'm still healing, going through my healing process, and I appreciate all of the. Um, I'm not sure if you gave me compliments or not. Just now, I couldn't understand it, but. Um, I gotta check something in the back of the system. You got a what? I gotta check something more of the back in the system. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> so she changed? What the fuck? Dude, this is wild. Back. Yes, all the way in the back right there. Oh my god. Okay, queen. Ooh. He's what? getting high in here. <gasps> what? S excuse me, the, um... This this is where the AC is. It's still not yeah, working. I was checking the other unit right here. Okay, but what's wrong? Wait, what's wrong what with this one? Happening? Uh, <laughs> oh my god! Oh my, what is steps. happening? Dude, he he hired someone to come fix his AC. No, okay. Was, <laughs> there for that. So now she's on the in the RV and she changed into lingerie and she's coming on to. <laughs> Talk to me, baby. <laughs> I want and this it's real. Yeah. So even if this is fake and it obviously is. The fact that he's recording this shit in an RV outside his ex-wife's house with yeah. his kids right there is so fucking weird. Yeah. I cannot get over it. It's Holy all very shit, weird. Dude. Well, also like this. Excuse me. The um, I I don't know if anyone thinks this is still real. So, but no. he's just holding his phone in her face all the yeah, time. Right. Yeah. What yeah. do you mean this is real? <laughs> yeah. Still on board. <laughs> yeah, I thought yeah. this was all real. Still real to me, damn it. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. We gotta get it's still real to me, damn it! Ah, oh, man. The two of them need to be working. She's crushing it. I need to it. fix you. <laughs> She's very funny. Whoa. Um, okay, you so... Um, uh, um... You had... <gasps> the neighbors oh. probably think they're making a oh, mess or something in that van. <laughs> There's something's, going, something's <laughs> going on in there. <laughs> There's all kinds of people always yeah. running around, all kinds of gear. Yeah. yeah. Strange characters coming and going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Golly. Um. Fuck. Oh, 
fuck, where's my house when I need it? Uh, shit. Excuse me. Um, it's time. It's time. Uh, you have to be somewhere. What? What is that? What is right, that? Right. Can Can I see that? Please be careful with that. That. I don't <laughs> want that to hurt you. It's what a she's, little too big. What does she mean? Oh come on, the little oh people. God. What year is it, man? Oh my god. I didn't understand. He keeps doing like, oh, it's a little too big for you. What year is it? Or he goes, it's a little problem. It's like, bro, seriously? Yeesh. It's like Ace Ventura. It's before Ace Ventura. Ace Ventura didn't have any little, little, uh, phobia. Little phobia? Mm. Ed transphobia. A lot of transphobia. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The whole shit. Einhorn is a man. Ray and then the, Ray, Yeah, and then they all start Ace is out. Dan Marino. <laughs> yeah. 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 I didn't. Even, I haven't thought about that movie in decades. Shit. The second one's better, anyways. Yeah. So why is she giving um, us a screwdriver? That's, okay, I didn't understand. That, that is one. definitely. Oh, she's wait a minute. To that screw. is definitely too big. Oh. Wait, can I see that, please? Yes. Okay. You can see that. All right. I'm gonna just step outside really quick. So. Yeah. This is that? this is yeah. The shark has been jumped at this point. Oh, but it, I, I'm curious. Is it weird to post this kind of content when your claim to fame is a family vlog channel? Yes. And your fans are all kids? Is that a crazy thing to his say? His fans aren't kids. I don't think his fans aren't kids. I, I hate to tell you. I but think they're grown ass people. That's true. Yeah. We met a bunch of them. I don't know. Yeah. We saw what their fans are. They're... Snapchat is a it's bunch the of kids. Snapchat. His claim to fame is literally having a. Sh Channel, is it weird? Yes, he has a he has a deal with Snapchat. Obviously, that's probably all meant to be kid friendly too. Yeah, <laughs> I mean it's not like bad, 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 but it's no, pretty. I, I mean, if you're like a five year old, I don't know how young six. I mean, you know, you don't know what the uh, hell else hey, going on there. Yeah, what's, yeah. Not Snapchat. It's yeah. also weird, like you said, yeah, they're not. to do this outside of the house yeah. where the kids are. <laughs> that is weird. What's weird. dad doing in the RV? Yeah, <laughs> dad's playing. Yeah, he's he's role playing a little bit. <laughs> but I think it's safe to say the family days are gone. Now yes. we're in a whole new Wild West kind of world where Catherine is probably going to start mm -hmm. having um, little people come fix her AC. <laughs> exactly. Yep. We have the whole. They'll have the Back whole. To that. Well, that's what I'm saying the other day when she posted all those vibrators on her story. Like, it's not that it's weird for anyone else, but just because they have a family channel and they're going through the divorce. That's mm -hmm. not appropriate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come on, eh? All right, so that, but that's not even the, the worst part here. He, at the end of all this, put out a song. Oh, God, I didn't know about this. He put, I didn't know it was about this. He misses Catherine. Somebody said I was a teacher and can confirm his fans are children. Not really. I think there's a lot of kids that watch family channels. Mm -hmm. It's a mix, I think, yeah. I feel sure. like it's people with families. I yeah, hate, it's exactly. weird. It's weird to say it. Because I can't young imagine parents. wanting to watch that as an adult. Yeah, other young parents. No, I think definitely kids. Kids? I, they post, like, surprise, like, they surprise their kids with gifts or whatever. Mm. Kids love Hitler. No if you shot. look through their videos. Kids love Hitler. <laughs> no yes. shot. You, know, you don't agree? Yes. At all? No. What? I think there's probably some kids, but... Yeah, yeah. I mean, some kids, but... I mean, like, kids don't want to watch that It's shit. predominantly what? young adults. When you say kids, what age uh, are we talking parents. about? Um, below 15. Mm. Dude, those kids don't want to watch that sh this yeah, shit. I would never. Want Low to watch sixteen, that. like fifteen, and stuff like that. That that go, they're you know, watching like uh, Scott. They're doing watching like Minecraft, bro. So like hitting blocks. One of their most popular videos is like getting stuck in a bowl of cereal. Mm. It's like kids content, no? Yeah, that yes. It's a little dicey. Oh, one year old goes grocery shopping for her parents. Yeah. That's cute. That could be a, that could appeal to the young adult yeah. family. Oh, uh, sure, but I think kids but also too. kids, yeah. Yeah. How young? Okay, whatever. Who cares? <laughs> Who I was, gives a shit? I was watching a recap on some care. of their uh, scams yesterday, and the first one, well, one of the first ones about the hats, like you had to buy a hat and you could participate in a drawing for a car. Austin says, you know, and and if you need it, you know, if you're younger, save up your lunch money. He makes a, a line, <laughs> a comment like that to buy a hat. And I only think they gave the car away ever, which is epic. Reminder, thank you, AB. We did a Austin Mc or Ace Family content court mm -hmm. a while ago. Mm. So that's still up if y'all want to revisit a classic right there. Right. Yeah. Speaking yeah, of content really. court, we're working on something. 
It's so good. It's coming. I'm so excited. I think that it's going to bring a lot of... Con- I think there's going to be a lot of backlash after. <laughs> For real? Um, from the, from bad people, but I'm excited. Good people to have a backlash from. Exactly. But this has been... Whatever it is, I'm not going to tell you who it's about. But there's been a lot of effort, a lot of time gone into this. Mm. So this is our big comeback. Mm. Yeah. And somebody's going to jail for life. <laughs> so anyway, Austin drop. Uh, <laughs> okay, is that the one for the the sexual unit one, or is that just Law and Order? That's just, just law general and Law and Order. Okay, okay, they all they all have the dong dong. Okay, yeah, it's gonna be because of Jeff's podcast. They played it, and you asked them that. You're like, what yeah, yeah, you? yeah. I, I I was off base there. <laughs> Apologies to the Jeff's crew. Just want to say I had that first though. Want to say that? I know, Zach. I know. Okay. <laughs> we all know. We all know. Um. Uh. So here is he dropped a song, and this is the newest development. Okay. About him missing Catherine. So here it is. Oh man, this is tough for me. I don't understand, man. This is tough for me. Those still slippers healing, are wild. <laughs> I want to make a song. I just don't know how to put it into words. Okay, he's still wearing the stained white beard. Okay, that's kind of a vibe. Didi, I need your help, man. I wrote something and I need you to freestyle it for me. I miss you. I love you. I've been in this RV. No heat. (laughs) Together for eight years. We don't even speak. You know that I miss you. I've been watching you right through the tree. Oh, I've been shit. missing the kids lately. I've been living alone. Hit the RV that I got nice, but sometimes I just want to be home. And then we got cold nights. I'll be shivering down to my bones. But you still my ace, girl. But you still my ace. Sparkling, but I won't steal. Hold on, Dan. I'm, f- I'm actually feeling this. This is awesome. <laughs> It's hilarious. Like all the fucking AC <laughs> jokes and peeking out the window at her. That's it's fun. honestly pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean. You know what I like? <laughs> that he was like, I wrote it, but here's somebody else going to sing it. Yeah. Because <laughs> I can't sing. He knows his talents. He's, he knows his strengths. I, this he guy's knows a, his limits. He's yeah. a famous rapper, apparently. He's the guy who's saying with DDG. Mm-hmm. I mean, I get that. Yeah, yeah that, that's what's happening. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know if you know. I don't. I, I don't didn't know, know who he was. No, yeah. I don't. <laughs> I love that he's wearing pants with his own <laughs> face on it. Yeah. But I don't get his Austin put out a couple of singles. So why isn't he singing? Oh, he did. Yeah, he's got like some songs, doesn't he? Uh, he's got a pro here to do it for him. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a certified <laughs> iTunes number one. Should we private our fish or should we just let them stay at the window trying to check on my baby? I can act like I'm okay, but I'm faking. I don't know if I can handle you dating. It's been a month, I don't know if I make it. I got lost when I was going to class. They making fun of me, I'm going outside. The home the pillow? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, <laughs> I don't think he's getting a divorce anymore. I think it's all fake. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm, oh really? Interesting. I think it's all fake now. Welcome. I, I'm out. Welcome to the crew. This video solidifies <laughs> that it's all fake for me. Which is pretty impressive, I have Same. to say. Obviously, hedge any compliments I give him with the fact that he's like a prolific scammer. <laughs> Bullshit. But who on YouTube isn't, frankly? You know? Bridge? <laughs> <laughs> you feeling a bridge? When I was going to class, they making fun of me, I'm going outside. You and all the kids is all that I had. I was a husband, now I'm only yeah. your dad. Damn. I've been missing the kids lately. I've been living alone. The RV that I got nice, but sometimes I just want to be home. And then let we got cold nights. I'll be shivering down to my bones. <laughs> but you still my ace, girl. But you still my ace. <laughs> okay, guys, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Honestly, and it was shot pretty funny, too. Yeah. yeah. That was. <sighs> Fuck, I hate to say it, but this whole <laughs> arc has been pretty fun. 
like as a whole kind of thing and a roller coaster ride and <laughs> not knowing, but then oh, at the man. end it becomes very obvious. I mean, Jesus Christ. Trying to live the best life possible. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, I gotta give it up to Austin. This has been insane. <laughs> right? I like the song. That song, the video was funny <laughs> as shit, dude. <laughs> He's like the Danny Ocean of YouTube. Like, you think he can't pull it off again, but somehow he pulls off a bigger scam. True. <laughs> yeah. Like, I never thought he could pull something like this off, which is part of the reason why I never believed it was real. <laughs> or I that I believed that it was real. I think you're giving him too much credit. Really? Yeah. So good. Uh, he it fell into his hands. People have been <laughs> accusing him of having a divorce, yada yada. You think it fell into it's his hands? He's just like, yeah, I might as well fake it. Fuck but that it. song the was... The song is good. The song was funny. But he did nothing. He just sat there. He like, has a talented musician with him, though. Mm. I don't know nothing about I him. I don't think... I think you're not trying to give my boy credit. I think you're not credit. giving him enough credit. I think Ace Hat Business <laughs> Family is back. All right. All right. Damn. 10 million views. I mean, you I don't have to speak. People don't smoke. Okay. I got, listen, I got, I got to keep it real. Yeah, I mean. My boys got me giggling. And, and I'm a hater. <laughs> me too, I'm a hater. I'm a hater. I would usually have notes on the video, <laughs> but I feel like I don't. It, was, it was good. Wow. Harley says, I think it's all real, and this is way of getting her back. If it was, okay, if this was, if they were actually getting divorced, no. he wouldn't do this. I don't think he's really trying to get her back like that. I don't think they're breaking up. I think they're still together. And then it all ties in with what we discovered in the beginning, which is he was in her bed. Did you see that photo? No. So, okay, can we show Elo that? Because th this is a evidence that we've been kind of putting out of mind for a while. Mm -hmm. But when we first started talking about this, we discovered that in one of the posts he did about, he's like, oh, I can't sleep, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then if you compare it to Catherine's bedroom and her bed, uh, headboard, he's in her bed. Uh -huh. There's no question about it. I sent it. Yeah, thank you. When he's supposedly out already. Yeah, th yeah, they're broken up. He's in the RV. Oh. So why is he in her bed? Check this out. That. Okay, so here is the bed and the headboard. Yep. Very unique looking. Mm-hmm. Now here is his... Oh. I can't sleep. Yeah. <laughs> That's... That's obviously that. A thousand percent her room. Like, yeah. it's not even possible anywhere else. Yeah. For the record, yeah. that, that photo of Austin should be the cover of Dream's song. His song, Nightmare. <laughs> it's right here. I can't sleep. <laughs> that would be a good collab. A nightmare. A nightmare. Uh, to, pu to push it even further, do you think he knowingly took that photo see, and to, like, Make it clear, look, I'm still in her bed. For sure, yeah. They both, right? They, I think they're both in on it and like, yeah, let's stir the pot. And then on the it. next day, Catherine was like, now I need to buy him stuff from Sephora so he stops coming in the house. Hold on, uh -huh. someone said read Catherine's response. Is there something that we're missing for hers? By the way, shout out to YouTube who's fluctuating our views by like 15,000 every minute. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> I mean, as long as it. I can't tell. Is it actually booting people out? I don't know. I don't think so. The the okay. I'm looking at the graph in the back end, and it, it's not doing that on, like, the main graph. So What does it say back there? Uh, Just shy of 40K. It's at 39.2. So I just saw that. Okay, whatever. Mm -hmm. So um, what did Catherine... You know, whenever post? you guys say there's issues, I'm when I'm listening, I have no issues. Okay. It, just, huh. it might just be a, a glitch, a graphic glitch. Yeah. Um. All right. Well, so what while is we, her response that people are talking about? I, I sent it. It's, oh, wait, hold on. Me and Olivia both sent the same thing, and it's sent in a weird format. Yeah, I can't. It, you sent me some what unopenable file. I'm sending, what the hell? What the hell did I just open? All right. Here is Catherine's response. <laughs> wow, there's a race. She posted this. I guess they're both on <laughs> Olivia Snapchat. Maybe both posted the same thing. <laughs> she said, <clears throat> "Okay, this is a fan message. I absolutely adore you, right? Yeah, absolutely adore you. So I hate to ask the dreadful question, but Austin making songs about the situation, making clickbait out of it. How does it affect you, Ho? That's rude. Ho? <laughs> it's probably not finished. <laughs> <laughs> 
She said, I'm grateful to be evolved because his behavior and coping mechanisms is, are beyond me. He tells me he's doing well, though, so I trust him. <laughs> but as for the song, I laughed, and Loki has a little ring to it. Oh, fuck. Her response is mm. real. <laughs> <laughs> but, Her. I mean, that could be part of the, of the whole thing. I'm confused. I'm, I'm back so to, confused. I think, uh, okay, we'll, have, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Mm-hmm. This could be like a, a you know sitcom one on one here. Austin's being the goofy, funny guy, and Catherine's playing the uh, yeah the straight. You know yeah yeah yeah. It's possible, but I like the idea if that they you do that. They, I, I foresee this backfiring <laughs> horrifically for them. In what oh, way? Oh, absolutely. If if, if the they're not really divorcing. Okay. People oh. will be so upset. Well, you guys aren't thinking in the way that they yeah. think, like scammers. That's they're gonna say we found each other mm-hmm. again. We're in love again. Yeah, they won't say oh, they. Oh, 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 oh. They I won't. see yeah. what you're saying. They'll no. they'll somehow find each other. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. And we'll all know. We'll all know. But yeah, I think never... they'll just say we fucking tr- trolled the internet. Only I, like that. I. That's the one part where me and love disagree heavily. Mm. I don't think they'd ever do that. I personally, at this point, it's so obviously become a joke that I don't think they have a lot to lose by saying that. Yeah, they, their fans are diehard. Yeah, I think they'd be really views. upset. Damn. Yeah. I mean, they took okay. us all on a journey. Nobody can complain about that. This is yeah, free but entertainment. We're not fans. Right. We're not like hard, hardcore invested in this. They gotta be loving this. Yes, I'm just saying that the people who are really into this mm. hardcore will be really upset if they find out so. that it's fake. Yeah, Dude, they will. Well, if Lina, they don't know by now, I don't know how what I don't know how to help them. Me and Lena are nobodies, and I, I did clickbait once, and people wanted to fucking <laughs> kill us. So I well, the I'm pregnant thing. Yeah. Well, hmm. Yeah. You don't joke about that, Ab. <laughs> yeah, I learned. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You guys are fine. Um, so in the meantime, Austin has actually quite inspired me, um, because I don't know if it's real or not, but the one thing that I can give him credit for is like, he's gotten a ton of juice. And so I'm wondering, I'm wondering, you know, I'm trying to get on Snapchat. I'm trying to get some, you know, new fans. Mm. And I'm wondering, maybe Austin has some ideas for me. Mm -hmm. And with that being said, let's take a look. If you don't want a huge opportunity to work with the best OnlyFans agency, it's not too late if you change your mind. Are you doing this OnlyFans thing? I keep hearing about it, that you're messaging girls only fans girls. I don't know what you're talking about. Where did you hear that? Everywhere. It's not what you think. I'm not trying to like sleep with them. I'm just trying to pimp them. I'm not trying to cheat. I'm just trying to cheat them like out of money. It's an only fans thing, baby. No. It's going to be big money. Trust me, baby. This is this is a huge opportunity for us. Why do you keep doing us. this? Can you not oh. It's very aggressive. I'm done. I want your stuff out of the house by tonight. I'm sure she's not serious. Welcome everybody to my house tour. I want to show you guys around my my uh, temporary place. <laughs> this here's the master closet. I got more hanging space up here as you can see. This is my entertainment center at the moment. Doesn't turn on yet. <laughs> I am working on running electricity from the office. Oh. Hey, you can't run electricity from the building into your fucking car. That's who I I can and That's I me. am, no, dude. No. Take all of this. Stop, bro. Stay the fuck out of the building. Anyone. Stay the fuck out of the building. Who are you to tell me that? Fuck you. I didn't do anything. Skyru. Nice natural lighting. Did you know I could do this? Did you know I could do this? The master uh, bathroom. You don't want to drink this, okay? AB! Holy <laughs> shit, you scared me. What's up? Dude, I gotta go. I gotta drop this off to Eva. All right, I'll see you later for All the right. show, okay, buddy? Good work. See ya, thank you. Gets lonely out here, you know what I'm saying? Space for one more. 
the master bedroom, the master suite. Here it is, spacious. I have three limbs touching the ceiling. Later today when you have free time, can you get me the, uh, I want the switch from the house, if you could bring it here. Okay. This one's a little unusual, but trust me, I have a good reason for asking. A couple of pairs of her panties? Really? Preferably from the dirty hamper. I don't want to grab any of her panties. Is just, that necessary? I was just kidding. Okay. Ugh. Uh, but uh, seriously, I don't know if you see something on the floor. Maybe it's easy to, you don't have to do something, anything invasive. Ethan. Also the master um, kitchen. As you can see, all kinds of things are happening there. What's up, dog? No, I'm kidding. You want a hot dog? Um, is that grill even on? Is this, le is this lead? Is there lead here? Is lead leaking over on this? Oh, What's shit. this about? That's true. Yeah, I'm cool on the dog. This one's fine, though. The, uh, I'm cool on the dog, dog. Thanks, All right, dog. dog. See you later, dog. Bro, you want a dog? Thanks, man. Appreciate Enjoy, it. Enjoy, brother. Nice to see you, okay? Also, another ensuite um, toilet, restroom, little boy's room. Um, don't drink that, by the way. Hey, Alfredo, my donkey! You guys want to come up? I'm gonna to grab them, actually. They're happy to see me. They haven't seen me in a while. Uh, you look hey, ducky, you, you come just, here. You can't be near the kids. I'm so sorry to do this. The kids? Come on, baby. <sighs> we'll figure it out, okay, buddy? They can't be near you. I didn't do anything! Making the best of, uh, the situation here. Trying to stay close to the family, keep an eye on everybody, stay close to the dogs, make sure everything's okay. Ladies out there, you act, you don't, you make me act up. Don't be thirsting for me in the shower. Here, will you hold that for me? Just, I guess. just keep it still, okay? I'm getting all wet. I don't, I don't, I don't know, dude. I, I, I don't know. This is weird. What's weird? Hey guys, what's up? Just checking in. Thanks everyone for caring so much about me and watching these updates. It was a cold night last night, actually. Ethan. Hey, what's up? I know this was like a joke to, you know, to get you famous on Snapchat and all that, but I, it's getting too pathetic. I don't think I can do it anymore. It's, but the views are crazy. I don't know if I you've know, seen it. I know, but it's really affecting me. Just I'm, being myself. I'm getting really not attracted to you with this look. And really? The, yeah. You gotta come back inside. I, I can't do this. Okay. All right. All right. I'll wrap it up. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, as you can see, it was going well, but I think some may say too well. Too well. <laughs> and uh, I had to call it off, but it was really good. It was fun while it lasted. Mm -hmm. um, but shout out to Austin for the inspiration. And thank you. Good work, oh, everybody. Wow. <laughs> that's, another, that's another one in the whole... We actually, we worked our buns off pretty good on this one. We, we shot a lot on uh, Tuesday. On Tuesday, yeah. yeah. We haven't done that in a while. Yeah, it was fun. It was yeah, really we fun. shot all that in one afternoon. Just want to give a shout out to Ian. He was yeah. the, uh, he, he edited that, so he did a... Oh, yeah. Oh, he, Cam's nice. not here. He's sick. So Ian threw that together. That was impressive. Was great. You edited that all today, Ian? Uh, I was here doing it. He came in yesterday. Uh, yesterday yeah. as well, yeah. Nice job. Edited and produced by Ian. Thank you. Yeah. Nice. Very cool. Very good. Very good. Uh, I just want to watch it again, frankly. <laughs> um, but that being said, uh, let's do let's do it. This it's time for the main course here, the failure podcast. Mm. What's up, Gabe? What's going on, Ethan? Happy Friday! Happy Friday, my friend. What are you guys cooking? We're doing the sauce, Nikki's special sauce. My bro from my brother, from another brother. What's in the Nikki special sauce? <laughs> Let's find out. 
Let's find out. All right. Right, I'm ready. You ready to learn? Yep. All right, look. Look over here. You start with your garlic, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it brown? It's brown. Okay, leave it on a low flame, all right? Okay. Bring <laughs> your tomatoes, your crushed tomatoes. Some tomatoes, baby. One can at a time. Is that what he really sounds like, or is he doing a Godfather? <laughs> <laughs> you should ask him. Uh, oh, that's how Nick Sr. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's oh, amazing. No. This is straight up the cooking scene from the jail yeah. scene in Godfather. Yeah. In uh, Goodfellas. <laughs> yeah, Goodfellas. Not too many onions in the sauce. Baby, put the right. tomatoes in the sauce. Bianco Napoli. <laughs> yep. That's supposed to be a good tomato. Put a little water in it. You know put what? Put a little water in it. <laughs> Keep it on low. You know, instead of water, <laughs> he hit it with the wine. Mix it in here. Wow! Wow! I mix it in there. Get pour it in. This is stir. Pour it in there. Like Jesse and Walt. Nice. That looks good. Yeah, okay. It has, it has to be with style. Like, do it in style, slow. And, and what kind of pasta are you guys going to be throwing in there? Or is it sauce for something else? We're going to make the sauce first, Gabe. We're going to make pasta comes later. Mm. Pasta well, what, what do you, what's your plan? What's the pasta plan? You decide on spaghetti. pasta later. Spaghetti. Spaghetti, spaghetti about it. Oh, spaghetti about it. Of course it's spaghetti. Spaghetti. <laughs> and you guys got meatballs on there or just noodles? I pay attention now, right? Pay attention. You got the sauce going, right? Pay attention right? now. Hey, hey, I'm on the show, Oh, God. Tell you on the show. Pick your sausage up. Pick your sausage up. Oh, uh, the sausage. No. <laughs> put the sausage right in the sausage. Put it over here. Don't drip. Put the sausage over here. Salmonella over here. Salmonella. Boom. You don't just drop it in nice. Okay. Boom. Nice. Drop it in nice, like. Drop it in nice, Gabe. Put it in. Nice, Get it in there, Gabby. Oh, Show some it. respect nice. for those sausages. Not with that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did it talk to me nice. Honestly, I'm with Gabe. I'll, I like to just mix with everything, but it's there's with everything. There, I, there's, I just, I just you know, get it smooth. Come on. You have to respect huh? the tradition of whatever's mm -hmm. going on there. Yeah. Right, what's next? Mix this the pork. The pork. That's oh the shit! Pork, the wow. Pork. Get the pork. Whoa. Whoa. What do we got there? Is it, what do, what kind of pork is that? Just like pork chop? Yeah, like pork chop. Yeah, pork chops. It gives it gives the sauce the flavor. flavor, right, Dave? Yep. I'm Jewish, so I don't know anything about pork. If I was wrong. <laughs> I'm really. I'm just. Right. So we just it's throw like in pork chops in there? I'm Whoa. Kosher? Well, <laughs> it's not kosher. No, I'm not kosher. I just don't really oh, fuck sure. with pork for some reason. Okay. Um. I, yeah, but I'm, so wait, do you? Do you could put that in there for just the flavor, and then you take it out, or how do you how do you no, eat no, that? You let it you let it cook in there. Yeah. You let it mm. cook. Some people don't they don't do it that way. I I cook my pork right in the sauce, right? That's okay? amazing. Oh, yeah. Actually, we had it in a jar many years ago, but we just didn't have the money behind it. Mmm. But. Stir, stir it, Gabe. Yeah, stir, stir it a little stir. more. Stir All little right. More. Damn. <laughs> All right. You guys are eating good tonight. Get it smooth. Get it to where it's smooth. Okay. Smooth it up, Gabe. Come on. Smooth it up. <laughs> <laughs> Keep smooth. Gabe, yeah. put a little wrist into the thing, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Woo! Okay. Cooking pasta, baby. Fuck! Put some ingredients. Put some basil in there. Let's get basil, some basil in there, Capiche? Put some basil. Lots of basil. That's a huge. Go. A lot of basil. A lot, lot. of basil. Keep Kill going. Lot. Come Get on. some garlic powder. Easy. Okay, that's whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. That's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> hey, come on. That's a lot of garlic powder, Gabi. <laughs> Get the oregano in there. You can go big on the oregano, I feel like. No? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got? Some? Do we do we put bay leaves in here or no? You could. We you could. could. Yeah. Put fresh basil too. Yeah. yeah put a little more vino, Gabe. Oh! Right. Come on! Stir that fucking sauce. Stir that fucking sauce. That, look at that fucking sauce. Look at that fucking sauce. All right, we can't say that for that much. Why we miss? Little cheese. Little grated cheese. No! Right the Parmesan! 
<laughs> Just that. We don't want uh, Ethan to have the acid, right? We promote oh, sugar. sugar right? Absolutely yeah. not. What is that? Sugar. Oh, sugar? sugar. Oh, I love that. Mm. Fresh. Get it smooth. Get it smooth. Easy, but easy. Nice. Get that smooth. Get that bad Get a nice smooth. game. Oh, oh, no. Hey, come on. <laughs> Wasting okay. the salt. Nice, nice. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that, Gabe. You're doing a good job. Nice and easy. Get that sausage down. You don't want the look sticking up. Like that, right? That's the style of making the sausage. Wow. Mm -hmm. And so now we cover it. How long are we cooking that for? Every 15 minutes or so, we stir it up. Yep. About an hour, two hours. Let it simmer. Mm -hmm. Then what? You boil your water? Boil your water. Put your pasta in and make your spaghetti. And my balls. And my balls, right? Yep. <laughs> and my balls. <laughs> <laughs> and my balls. <laughs> 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 yeah. Gabe, so are you... <laughs> is Gabe in charge of the <laughs> pasta? Is he gonna... Gabe is in charge. Wow. Gabe is in charge. you got to keep an eye on the sauce. 15 yeah. minutes, all right, Gabe? We'll check in on you in 15 minutes to make sure you stir it. Stir the sauce, baby. Stir the sauce, baby. It's Friday. Ooh. Stir the sauce, baby. Woo! Stir the fucking sauce. Stir, Stir the, the fucking sauce. sauce. Stir the fucking sauce. Stir the. the we can't say more words. Stir the freaking cups. Don't think. Don't think, eh? Woo! Stir the sauce. Stir the sauce. That looks good. Good. All right. Nice. Listen. Thank you, guys. That was really exciting. Yeah. That was awesome. And uh. Can we see it when it's cooked? Sauce, um, or we can stop by bring sauce. I got some for Zach too. Oh, you bringing Zach Zach's sauce? Thank you, Gabe. I appreciate that. I'm gonna bring stuff up. Stop oh, by and I'll give you a sample. Oh shit! Mm. You better. Yeah. Fuck! You can get a plate of that. Wow! I would come, but it's my son's birthday. Okay. Hey, sing happy birthday, Gabe. Happy birthday. <laughs> what, what's your son's name? Bruce. <laughs> Bruce. Happy birthday to, to Bruce. you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to Bruce. Bruce. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday dear Brucey. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> All right, Gabe. Great to see you, man. It looks like you guys are going to You have a good weekend lined up already with that pasta. Mm -hmm. All right. Can't wait for you to taste. Can't wait for you to taste. And I want to say... What? <laughs> uh, what was that? <laughs> what did it? I saw his mouth move. Zoom but... filtered him out. <laughs> Wait. Oh, he what? Is, uh, <laughs> hey, he is saying something. Yeah. yeah bro <laughs> said. <laughs> Wait, why did Zoom filter poor Gabe out? I think because he just got so loud so yeah. quickly. Try again, Gabe. One more time. Try again. <laughs> it, it, it removes the audio, Gabe. Yeah. Maybe whisper it. Oh my god. Okay. What? Why oh, is it? What he said, is I, love you. Doing? I love you, Gabe. Oh. I love you, buddy. I do. <laughs> and if you guys want to support Gabe, he's on a uh, cameo. Uncle Gabe. For any for any occasion, frankly, I yep. think it's a, it'd be a great gift. Let's see the full fit. Valentine's Day right around the corner. It's true. Let's see the fit. I see red shoes. That shirt looks fire. Ooh. Are those J's? I don't even know what that means. Hoka's. <laughs> Hoka is so comfortable. That's all right. So comfortable. Guys, thanks for checking in. Love to see you. Have a great weekend, Gabe. It's Friday, all right, buddy? It's Friday, baby. It's Friday. Friday, baby. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Gabe, listen. I could sit here all day. All right. I could. <laughs>
Thanks, right. Gaby. Take care. Talk to you. That's Gabe. Well, that's Uncle Gabe. That's Uncle Gabe. Wow. There he is. We're making that sauce. That's Uncle Gabe, huh? I'll tell yeah, you, I, I never that was seen. A fun little, uh, yeah, I've never seen a dish like, like this. I never seen pork cooked like that. But and sausage. But it's got to be good. I know. I know the Italians. They do the sauce. I've seen them do the, the sausage and the sauce. Mm-hmm. That's like the bolognese, I guess, right? Or is that no, ground beef? That's ground beef. No, but the Italian sausage, they fuck they put that in everything, don't they? Mm-hmm. The Italian. But I wonder if they like they're gonna chop it up? Because I've seen it in like chunks. I have no idea. Yeah. I would the assume Italians. yes, but I don't know. Putting it in raw like that was very surprising. Yeah. Put it raw. I yeah. wanna see the final dish. Me too. It's gonna be great, man. Mm-hmm. Some of Chet was confused because they recognized uh that's his brother in law. He's an actor. Um, oh yeah, his doing there. Yeah. His um, that's his brother-in-law. That's the yeah. relation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's a famous actor. He is. Yeah, <laughs> that's Nick Nick's dad. Yeah. Nick Nick's uh, dad. Okay. That's yeah. Nick Senior. Isn't that funny? <laughs> that's a funny weird connection. Yeah. He yeah. seems like a great guy though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's the man. That he let great. me and have some of his uh, cigars from his private collection. Oh, yeah. now that's respect. Yeah. That's respect. So is he Italian? Is that what's going on? He's actually Italian. I believe he's from Brooklyn, so um, mm. I think he is Italian, yeah. Like all Brooklyn. Right, yeah, everyone from Brooklyn's <laughs> Italian. All right. Okay, I got to pee. And then we're going to, we are going to jump head first into what can only be described as the greatest cinematic production by one of the greatest of all time producers. Mm. Of all time. Mm-hmm. Of all time of all time. The Failure Podcast. All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> I think I should take Actually, this a break might be well. a good opportunity. Oh. Uh, Eli, I wanted to, okay. to give you guys the gift that uh, we got for Bruce, me and Lena, okay. just because it's super cute. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, so Eli has something to do while you're gone. Okay, let me see. Oh. First of all, that's so sweet, you guys. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, that is too funny. Wow. Oh, that is so look so at sweet. That. He's gonna look awesome. Oh my god. The, the good yeah, the shoes are my favorite part. Oh my god. You guys, this is crazy. Oh my god, baby shoes. Dude, the fox is fucking adorable. I don't know if people are used to this. I wasn't used to it because I've never Whoa. seen it before. Oh, look at that. That's so smart. <laughs> yeah, we noticed that. We're like, wow. yeah, yeah, that was, yeah. Like that is so smart. Because I was saying, let's just get him some Crocs because I know it's a nightmare to put shoes on kids. But when I saw that, I'm like, that's genius. These are so cute. We know it's not his usual style, oh. but we kind of want to make him like... We want to corrupt him as early as we can. I love it. Thank you. Uh-huh. Of course. Oh, I can't wait for Ethan to see this. <laughs> I love little tiny shoes. It's like the cutest thing in the world. We also this got Teddy some um, bath bombs so he doesn't feel left out. I see. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. Aww. Yeah, Teddy loves the bath bombs. He's so funny. Yep. <laughs> Dr. Pimple Popper sent us some the other day. Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah he Chunky loves going ball. to Lush. That's like an activity. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they had like this cute um, bath art set. So that's what we got for him. Oh. Yeah, every time we're at the mall, Lena won't stop at Lush to get Theodore one. <laughs> I was like, didn't you just get him one? She's like, oh, he wanted the, the Mario or something. Yeah. There was some mm-hmm. special one that he was mm-hmm. excited the about. The surprise one, yeah. yeah. And whenever there's like a season like Halloween or something, yes. he likes like the limited edition <laughs> ones. <laughs> These are so cute. Let me see. Is it this? Yeah, that's his size. Nice. I'll send you guys a picture. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm excited that. to see yeah. how it looks. <laughs> we were trying to get a different there wasn't a lot of uh outfits in his his size. In I his thought size. there was too much, they too matchy matchy, but oh. I'm sure it'll look cute. No, it's cute, yeah. Um, Did you need to go to the bathroom, by the way? Sorry, we didn't mean to keep you. 
Um, it's not too urgent yet. I was just thinking I'll go because Ethan went, but... Okay, I want to see the baby bump. Oh my god. It's getting crazy. I can barely move now. She's ready to go. Yeah. Oh! Look what they got birthday. Oh, yeah, that's so cute. <laughs> He got his first pair of J's. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you call him, right? Yeah. <laughs> Sneakerhead is born. By the way, check this out. That's the room. <laughs> yeah, that's the magic right there. No way. <laughs> Dude, okay, that is awesome. Yeah, I've Did never you guys seen see this? that. Yeah, they were talking about. <laughs> Laced up. He's gonna love those. <laughs> By the way, did you guys try these cupcakes from Toddy? These are nuts. They're yeah, they're so, so yeah, good. They're so good. bomb. What the fuck? Very good. Oh, quickly before we move on, I just wanted to uh, shout out a fan made something really fucking cool. Um, and I actually, I, I bought it from him. And then he sent along with it a bunch of other really cool stuff. You all remember, well, how could you forget the, uh, the Mega Man meme? I have grown up with Mega Man. There it is. <laughs> That's so Yo. cool. This guy made a Mega Dan, That's so mega cool. Dan. action figure. <laughs> His name is uh, Cosmic Evil Toys. And then, yeah, he mm. along with it, Whoa. he sent, he also made a Zilly Zonka. This is so <laughs> fucking cool. <dude. laughs> it's so wow. fucking cool, dude. So thank you, man. Again, yeah, thank uh, you very much. Super cool. And uh, yeah, he's on Instagram as Cosmic Evil Toys. Uh, does some really cool art and stuff, too. So I'm assuming check we, him out. it wouldn't be easy to mass produce those. Uh, Probably not. I mean, I don't know the first thing about making action figures, but yeah, these are all like custom made and painted and stuff. So that's awesome. But yeah, I was so stoked on it. Um, this is so sick. I'm cold, so I just went to grab a sweater. But this isn't out yet, right? No, not yet. But it will be. I was so hot. I don't know why. So I'm freezing. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cold. But you're pregnant. You never know what's gonna happen. <laughs> I had to take Not off judging. my jacket. I was like dying. All right. We've all waited. Oh, do we? Who's ready show, to fail? Do we want to show the picture of? Um, oh yeah, little baby. Mm -hmm. We got photos of uh, Sunny. Just so good. By the way, uh, thank you to lots of support today. Thank you guys so much. Um, specifically. I want to thank, I'll thank everybody, but I want to thank Bella Simmons, 50 gifted. Chrissy Hello. Sherlock, 20 gifted. Wow, thank you guys. So nice. And all the donos, we'll, we'll go back and read them. I'm sending it on WhatsApp. So I'm looking for the, uh, oh, got it. Here, I, I can open it easily okay. here. Uh, one second. <laughs> Ela got wait, wait, the wait, ultra. Don't cut to it. Don't yeah, cut to just... it. Okay, I just want to zoom in in case there's anything personal. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you good. There's there he face. is. <laughs> Little Sonny. Little Sonny. Isn't that crazy? He's Don't already me. beaming. My radiant little boy. Cute. I felt like he already looks like Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sunbeam. <laughs> how can they look? How do the boys look like me? They're both so, so like, beautiful and cute. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, another, I, what uh, I think is funny is that they're oh, both yeah. so different looking from each other, but they both look like you. <laughs> I, I I don't know. I don't see I don't see it like that. But everybody says it. <laughs> but yeah, they Brucey and Teddy are look look different. They're not like. Look at that! I feel like I've never seen an ultrasound that looked so clear. Yeah, right. So it's crazy is that his hand? This like the skeletal hand. I think it oh. might be. He was, he was moving a lot, and he was like. Putting his hand in his mouth and then picking it out. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> Cute. So sweet. He's probably so chill in there right now. Yeah. And then he gets torn out into a cold. He's naked. He's <laughs> cold. It's bright. Mm -hmm. The trauma of birth. Yeah, it is. That's a lifetime. The yeah. first and the greatest trauma. That's right. And I go, welcome! I start screaming. <laughs> it's Sunny! <laughs> welcome to Papa's house. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> All right, who's ready to fail? <laughs> I'm so ready. So I'm going in somewhat raw and regular on this. Mm -hmm. Actually, totally. We're trying to find the rawest of the raw. We have our favorite timestamps. Um, is there anything? Okay, so <laughs> some background on his first guest. <laughs> you know about this, Hila? This is so yes, yes, yes. Um, Here's his channel. Failure the podcast. <laughs> Ryan, you're such an idiot. Like, just imagine being Ryan Kavanaugh. Hey, suck these balls. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? The, that's the graphic? The throwing the tomatoes? Look how shitty that graphic is. <laughs> Cam sent he found it. He found it in like 10 seconds, Cam found the, uh, the stock oh. tomato that he used. Oh my god. Here? Uh, I'm Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. For real, bro? You're the, you're big Welcome time producer? To failure? That's the <laughs> dumbest shit I've ever seen. Oh, and look, it's in the back, like the Hollywood sign. Welcome, Welcome to failure. Yeah, he carries that around with him, because in the promo photo, he had it behind him there, <laughs> <Yeah>. too. <laughs> he brings it, he, Ryan walks around with a big sign that says failure. <laughs> <laughs> the intro is so underwhelming. Welcome to failure. Welcome to failure. So, a first, uh, a note on his first uh, guest, Nigel Lithgow. Uh, Lithgow? Lithgow. Nigel Lithgow. He's 74. He was the executive producer of Pop Idol and American Idol and has also acted as an on screen judge on several talent programs as himself. Mm hmm. Two former contestants of All American Girl are suing him over alleged essay. According to U.S. media, the lawsuit claims that Lithgow uh, openly groped them during filming of the series in 2003 and made unwanted advances after the show ended. And if that's not enough, Paula Abdul is also suing him, claiming multiple instances of assault. So he's like, a he's an equal opportunity uh, uh, assaulter, and that and that just happened mm -hmm. like uh, one December. month ago. Yeah, and like this December. is fresh. And Ryan's like, you know what? You know what I think? <laughs> I think there's not many people willing to come on this show, yeah. and because he's been disgraced, yeah, he's like, oh shit, somebody wants to talk to me. Do you think that he's gonna bring this up? <laughs> That's funny. Um, <laughs> he sort of does. He does sort of he. <laughs> Because Nigel talks about not being on his show anymore, and then Ryan's like, "Oh yeah, what what happened with that?" But mm. we'll, we'll we'll get into it. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. it's so and funny I, if he really didn't know. Oh, you start telling him. We pointed out <laughs> uh, last time, Ryan has a real uh, affinity for ex showbiz people who are also mm -hmm. um, sexual assaulters, allegedly about Nigel mm -hmm. Harvey, of course, who he kissed lovingly on the head. Yeah. Is convicted. Yeah. Ryan Kavanaugh is a force of nature. He's in jail, actually. There was also a Variety article that was released alongside the podcast, and he talks about Nigel and that as well. If you go down to six in the doc, I put some different uh, things he said. Quote, New Variety article was just released. This is Ryan about Nigel. So here he had to say about his uh, wonderful guest who's being sued by multiple women for essay. <clears throat> Nigel Lithgow, who obviously is going through his own stuff right now. That's a quote from Ryan. <laughs> that's, a, that's a really interesting way to put it because he, he's like, he's going through stuff, I'm going through stuff. Yeah. It's a different <laughs> level of stuff. Yeah. I mean, what me and you are going through, Ryan, is stuff. But it's not... It's not stuff. It's not that kind of stuff. Like, you know, give yourself some credit, man. I mean, you're just a douche and a moron and an idiot loser. You're not a <laughs> sexual criminal. Right. Take take some pride in that. Yeah. Um, and I'll say this to Ryan's credit. You know, the dude was a big time producer in Hollywood for a decade. And as far as I know, there's not one uh, accusation of, of sexual impropriety against him. Against Ryan? Yeah. That's true. So I, I, I give Ryan credit for that. Yeah, I mean, it's a low bar in Hollywood. <laughs> it is. He, 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 as far as I know, has not sexually... Assaulted in. Give it up. We have to be fair and balanced here. But I mean, I gotta, I just be real. I call it like I see it. He's a, mm -hmm. he hasn't raped anybody. No. That we know of. No accusations. No. 
All right, so he said, Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. We buddy. give credit where it's Well, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, he's going through his own stuff right now. But he's co creator of American Idol, creator of So You Think You Can Dance, and his story is pretty incredible. Obviously, he's right now going through another challenge in his life, but I think he'll come out of it strong. <laughs> Brian, what are you doing? <laughs> Dude, why are you saying that? Paula Abdul is suing him for multiple instances of assault. Do we want him to come out strong after something? No. Like <laughs> but Ryan does. <laughs> On the opposite end of the spectrum is Bryce Hall. What? <laughs> why are you going to. Why, why do this to your boy, Bryce <laughs> Hall? Don't bring him up like that. Do not invoke his name. <laughs> Speaking of bed. sexual uh, crimes, Bryce Hall. <laughs> 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 Who is arguably the most famous influencer right now? Nobody would argue that. And I, listen, I like Bryce. He's a nice guy. I enjoyed having him on the show. Nobody argues that. I don't think Bryce would argue that. No. Yeah. And I mean, he's a big influencer. Yeah, no big. But Not the, the biggest. biggest? No. The 20, most famous influencer. 22 years old and has 50 million followers. Uh, and we have Chris Johnson, who's the coach to the best of the best in the NBA. Oh, Bryce is a, a guest. That's awesome. It must be. That's exciting. <laughs> Can't wait to watch the Bryce app. He, like, he teaches LeBron how to get better. Then Rabbi Let Letter, probably the most influential rabbi in our, uh, in our right now in L.A., maybe in California. If you follow the, the rabbi leagues, he's top dog in, in the whole state. <laughs> he's the number one seed rabbi, dude. This is the he's number one there. rabbi in the state. It's D, D1 rabbi, dude. <laughs> Absolutely. First draft pick. <laughs> That's probably the only interesting part from that excerpt. But below, he talks about you. Oh. <clears throat> I can't think of another person who has been involved in more litigation than you, both as a plaintiff and a defendant. And you've been sued for fraud multiple times. Why are you such a magnet for lawsuits? Oh, that's what they asked him? Yeah. Hmm. That's a really good question. You've been sued for fraud multiple times, they asked him. That wasn't actually an ask. That was a statement. You've been, and you've <laughs> been sued for fraud multiple times, period. Statement. <laughs> <laughs> then they continue. Why are you such a magnet for lawsuits? Hmm. Why do people keep why do people keep suing you for fraud? Mm -hmm. <sighs> they're trolling. And I don't <clears throat> <laughs> they're trolling. <laughs> <laughs> they're in they're, they're, yeah, they're trolling. just trolling, dude. <laughs> and for the record, um, I'm not alleging that he's done any fraud of any kind. Just reading what this interviewer said. I have no evidence. And this interview was where? <laughs> This interview is from a Variety article huh. called Ryan Kavanaugh is back, ready to dish on his failures. Brett Ratner and secret little tape project. Oh, yeah, he's working on a secret little tape project. Dude, oh, can, no. this guy is like scraping the bottom of the barrel. Little Tay? What does he want from Little Tay? No, but I think nobody in showbiz will work with him for anything. If I had to guess, as we work with Lil Tay and Bryce Hall, <coughs> um, he said uh, the litigation in the last three years. It sounds like a lot, but I just sued a YouTube blogger I'd never heard of until this. <laughs> but Triller, the only part that I was really the blogger. <laughs> I know, he called me a blogger. Jesus. He said that in the other interview we watched. Mm -hmm. Yeah, beta. <laughs> How do you not? Again, I know we said it, but you own a social media company. Is he trying to like, downplay what Ethan's doing by saying blogger? No, he's know? a moron. Like, that's what my mom would call. Mm. But she knows better because she's been around this industry now and she mm -hmm. does her own thing. She knows what it means. But calling a blogger, that's like... Right, and she, she doesn't... She didn't co-found Triller. And right. your mom managed to figure <laughs> it out. Yeah. No, she's this not... Guy, he, he founded a social media company. He doesn't know what a blog is. <laughs> uh, he Crazy. says... So he goes, let's see. With Triller, the only part that I was really actively involved in and still am is the Fight Club Bare Knuckle Boxing, which is now the fastest growing combat sport, and it has been pirated. So the company Triller, not me, went after people who they could see as pirates and made money off the fight. Yes, I'm sure that uh, my unlisted video with 60 views was a huge um, it's the only reason detriment. Triller, it's the only reason Triller didn't work out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And one of the, he's probably going to try to claim that in damages. <laughs> and one of those companies was this professional troll with like 7 million followers, 
All he does is attack people. That is not true. That's a f- defamatory. He's mm-hmm. done now 59 podcasts on me. He changed, that number is different every time he mentions it. <laughs> I mean, and started a whole subreddit. I did not start a whole subreddit. I don't I know where he's getting The that. irony, man. Yeah. Of what he's suing you for. And every time he talks, I hear him just he, make up something. He yeah. lies with yeah. no um, quantitate. Like, he doesn't qualify it. Yeah. Like, I'm out here being like, alleged, we mm-hmm. let respect, so I don't know nothing about nobody. Mm-hmm. But this man is like, he uh, he made a Reddit, he made a thousand episodes about me, the, the he's, he's outside my house with a weapon. <laughs> he's running on a mountain commune of Wikipedia editors. Right. Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah. Holy fuck, that was, people were expressing concern over his well-being because... They kind of good to make a good point. Like he's talking about a compound of Wikipedia editors that he sent law enforcement, but they couldn't get to them because they're so well hidden Too much wine, in the sorry. compound. Right. Also, his eyes were kind of darting around, which I didn't think much of at the time, but a lot of people pointed out might be a symptom Sinus. of Psychosis. some kind of alcohol cirrhosis. Uh, Very interesting, actually. Good point, because that's why they try do that pen pen thing. <laughs> To see if mm. the eyes are trapped. looking pretty that. glassy. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I know. I feel like it's more than just him being drunk, though. Too much but that wine, could be sorry. making it worse, whatever yeah. paranoid delusions he's suffering from. Is that good or bad for my case? Hmm. <laughs> he's like in early onset dementia or something, <laughs> drug induced uh, uh, <laughs> dementia. I don't know how much it would directly impact well, anything, really. Right. Well, would it make him like more unhinged, or would he just forget about it? Oh, no. Mm. I guess we'll find out. I will say something that <laughs> no, may be just interesting forget. for your case <laughs> is that nice. he's bringing up you reading a headline from Variety, yet he's lying in Variety. Like this yeah. is just a straight yeah. up quote about you where he's lying <clears throat> in the same publication. <laughs> he's been lying, man. It's crazy. He's getting old, dude. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah, old, dude. <laughs> uh, let's see. And this fucking guy. This fucking guy. <laughs> so blah blah blah. I have fifty nine podcasts on him. I mean, that might actually be true. Yeah, probably. They're not dead. I maybe I've mentioned him in fifty nine podcasts. I mean, I, easily. Well, I, he he I contradicts think... himself. Did fifty five podcasts on me? <laughs> <laughs> so that's a, that's a number. Every time. That's a number. If you know, he has he has never once said the same number. <laughs> well, it does keep going up. But we haven't we talked, talked about, about him about since it. before this, and I'm like, fuck, a long ass time. He five podcasts. I on think me. he's just counting every time <laughs> the background was of him. That he's counting that too. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, he's telling the world that I'm suing him when actually Siller has gone after him for piracy. I was getting death threats. Oh yeah, he was getting twenty to thirty thousand death threats a minute a day. <laughs> that was another thing that people were like, that that this is that like was paranoid so delusions. Funny. <laughs> Did you pull that, Zach? <laughs> I did not, but I will. We I love that. that you have now him saying the URL for the website. Go ahead. Oh, it's the best. Plug it. Does Ryan Kavanaugh look like Harvey Weinstein? <laughs> Dot com. <laughs> and he said the website is funny. Good. Right. Yeah. He did. Yeah, he did so, compliment it. It is so. funny. You're right. right. Yeah. It's not meant to be funny. It's meant to be a public service. Yeah. But. He says I was getting death threats. My ex-wife was getting death threats. My kids were getting death threats. I don't know. Okay. So I sued him for defamation. I won the anti-slap. The last three years, that's the only lawsuit that I really had of any substance. When you're in business, you're always going to have nuisance suits. And it happens to be very public. Triller just prevailed on two of its cases against him for piracy. Bro, what the fuck are you talking about? Triller did not prevail against me on piracy. Nope. <laughs> These balls, Ryan. <clears throat> so, um, anyway, let's get into it. Let's just jump right into it. Jump right into it. Failure. Just, we only have an hour. Really quick. Oh, no. Really quick. There's two more little notes. But this is two hours long. <laughs> well, we're not. <clears throat> no, we're not. Edge, I'm kidding. Go ahead, AB. Uh, real <clears throat> quick, the, t- the first episode is titled Failure 1101 on Apple Podcasts. Right. I'm guessing he meant to say Failure 101. <laughs> yeah, he fucked up the title. <laughs> and in his bio, failure is spelled wrong. <laughs> yep. That's all. Wait, hold um, on. Just a small note. I just want to point out I want to go out of that. That you have an opportunity right now to send him a message like, good luck with your toy podcast or something. Now, like if that. anyone's have a toy podcast, it's yeah. this motherfucker. Uh-huh. Right. You know? 
And this fucking guy. And this fucking guy. So wait, he misspelled. He spelled it F A L L I R E. <laughs> Fire. This motherfucker is just so even busy. even types drunk, dude. Yeah. It well, does. It, it doesn't have time to go wasn't. back and correct. It's too busy. Um. You guys <clears> don't understand the billionaire lifestyle. He's do He's so dedicated to the failure thing. He really makes an effort to do it in every facet of his life. It's Method quite acting. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead, Ryan. Uh, I'm Ryan Kavanaugh. <laughs> Featuring. This is the place where, as they say, success has many fathers and failure has none. Well, failure has found a father. And you're. Wait, wait, wait. What? Success has many fathers, but failure has none. He's the father of failure. But now they have found their daddy. Nice. He really wanted a title and he found one. Daddy fail son. <laughs> Love that. Here with us. Also, Cam pointed out that the intro sounds like the P Hub intro. Interesting. Same colors, too. Interesting. <laughs> True. And we're very lucky today to have one of my closest friends, one of... And I'll say this. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to watch the specific parts of this video that are interesting to me that I have commentary on. If you want to watch the whole podcast, I encourage you guys to go visit uh, Failure with Ryan Kavanaugh's channel and enjoy his his podcast in its entirety. What I'll be doing is criticism and critiquing mm -hmm. the video. So, mm -hmm. so that's would you say that that criticism and critique that you will be offering this video is, um, in some way, takes the original video and <coughs> transforms it into a mm -hmm. new video? You may say that. Undoubtedly, undoubtedly. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Thank yeah, you. Un undoubtedly. Mm -hmm. Nobody who actually wants to watch Ryan Kavanaugh is going to want to watch this instead. Absolutely not. Because there there is zero percent chance. Fuck out of this, dude. <laughs> that seems fair. <coughs> yeah, but go or ahead. Use one would argue. I'll be honest. That I have some theory because I was like, "How is this not bait?" Because I'm the only one that's going to watch this. <laughs> it yeah. does seem made for us. It's and not it's so believe. it's so dumb. <coughs> it's so pointless, and frankly, low budget. <laughs> I'm like, he's got to be baiting me. So then it, it occurred to me that he might actually mm -hmm. be baiting One. me mm -hmm. if he's copyrighted it beforehand. Mm -hmm. And he's just, he thinks I'm going to watch the whole two hours of it mm -hmm. and then sue me for copyright infringement again and be like, see? Mm -hmm. However, that's obviously not going to be an option to him because that's not how we do content reactions, baby. We're the real deal out here. Right. So, I mean, if you want to sue me, I welcome that, as I always have. But yeah, here it is. Sorry, I accidentally closed it. Failure. <laughs> Welcome to This is the Play, and you're here with us. I have one of my closest friends, one of... Uh, Bro, are you sure you want to be putting that out there? <laughs> <laughs> also, why are you shooting directly into a window? This man is a big-time producer. Ugh. He's shooting directly into yep. the sunlight. Anywhere else? Any, was there anywhere else in the room? He He's is gonna a set up. failure. What an idiot, bro. <laughs> like, he gets so cross when people say, oh, he had this whole thing. E yeah. Ethan removed that I'm a producer. If you read my Wikipedia page, I'm not a producer. Well, dude, you could start by not shooting into sunlight. <laughs> if you want to prove that to us. <laughs> Moron. The world's great. Um, <clears throat> producers, the oh. world's great. Uh, marketers, the world's... Great showman, um, and he, he's uh, he, truly, truly one of the, the, the greatest talents I know. He's the one of the main visionaries. He spoke about Harvey Weinstein similarly I mm. think, before. Mm. I, mean, yep. I think so. Or was it that Harvey spoke that way about both Ryan? Ryan Kavanaugh is a force of nature. Now I do need to go. It's just hard to keep him. I remember. Behind. I remember a clip of Ryan glazing up Harvey. I don't. <laughs> He kissed him on the forehead. <laughs> he kissed so. him on the head, yeah. Oh, that's, that's a glaze. Kissed him right on the... I don't kiss anyone on the head, but my kids. Stinking nasty hair. Right. American Idol and kissed producer American Idol. nasty pig stinking neck. <laughs> <laughs> and the creator of So You Think You Can Dance, Nigel Lithgow. Welcome, Nigel. Thank you, thank you. So happy to be on a program called Failure. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm right out of the gate. So that's such a... I mean... And Ryan's, I've seen the beginning, he starts floundering, like he doesn't know how to accept the joke. I mean, you know, as soon as I 
thought who could ever go on failure. I thought Nigel, right? No, right, like right. Nigel failing. No, yeah. but um, yeah. as we all know, yeah, you loser. this could have laughed. I mean, it was pretty funny. Show is is it's raw. It's meant to show the world the truth, um, the truth losers. of success, which is uh, in success. Um, this man has on a recently accused predator on a failure called on a podcast called Failure. Where they just do the raw and talk about it honestly. Yep. Where he doesn't, act, where he doesn't talk about, or like apparently he does his AB, but I doubt in a way where he's pursuing any kind of truth or. Right. No. Yeah. They just brush over it. Yeah. I will say Success that. Success doesn't happen. Um, he keeps trying to bring back everything to failure. Like the guy tries to tell a story, and then he'll go, "Oh, so like yeah, so you had a failure, and that led to something this." Okay, okay. And then he stops it multiple times, and the guest gets annoyed, and eventually, a few times, he says, "I hate that word, failure." But I just want to give you some context as to why he seems more frustrated throughout these uh, timestamps. Okay. Oh, he seems frustrated already, frankly. Yeah. yeah. But you can move on to the next time, Sam. That's All right, so the next time stands at 45 seconds. And Nigel says he's ha- Oh, no, we saw that one. At 11 minutes, Nigel says his first failure was him attempting to unalive himself when he was younger. This is, this Whoa, is, what? This is, <laughs> you, you got it. Yeah, you got it. You got that it. was a failure. That, well, was a, you know, that was a failure? Well, I this suppose is, if he... It's a hell of a way to put it. <laughs> That's a little bit weird to That's say so about dark. an attempt. Dark. Cause, yeah. yeah I'm a he makes it sound like he wished That's he succeeded. This, right. is, this is one of the best timestamps, not because <laughs> the, the unalive way. stuff, but... Whoa. Li- okay, I see. I see where it's going. Yeah. All right, go Listen ahead. And when I woke up, my, my mother had come down from Liverpool, and she was sat next to the bed as I came to, and this beautiful nurse was on the other side of the bed, leaning over me. Oh, no. Uh, and I checked out her breasts. Shut the fuck up right uh, now. And I thought... Why on earth did I even think of committing suicide? <laughs> There's the nice This guy one. did it. He did <laughs> that shit. Was, you know what he said? Wait, you, you gotta got listen to what you, you gotta hear. I don't want, that's all too much. Mm. I don't want to, you know what I mean? Right. Huh? He said, I didn't want to show all that, uh, yeah, you're going too far. Yeah. Graphic uh-huh. description. Of, oh, oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Of the, uh, oh. yeah. So sorry about that. Here is the clip, uh, in question. One more time. When I woke up, my, my mother had come down from Liverpool and she was sat next to the bed as I came to. And this beautiful nurse was on the other side of the bed, leaning over me. Uh, and I checked out her breasts. <laughs> Uh, and I thought, why on earth did I even think of committing yeah. suicide? There's the Nigel in it. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yes. You oh. knew the whole time. There's oh, the Nigel and gentlemen. gentlemen. You fucking oh knew, God. Ryan. This is That's so gross on so many levels. Imagine saying that to Harvey Weinstein. Right. There's, There's the Harvey, the Harvey I, know. I know. That old what? dog. We got it. after being oh, God. God. That's actually not even funny. That's just straight up disturbing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel Especially like with Ryan knowing the context of everything. Go ahead. That, I feel like that can be used in a court. It's like, here's <laughs> uh, like evidence that he is like perverse. He's like known. Yeah. Or that yeah, not, not to Paul Abdul. It, it would be a suggestive of him, perhaps, allegedly, whatever, being uh, complicit in covering up a crime. Yeah. I mean, or I don't know if he helped cover up, but, but being, you know, remaining silent. Right. In the face yes. of an injustice, I, yeah, yeah someone I mean, could possibly that. argue that. <laughs> I think it's more so that in like as evidence of character of the Nigel guy, that could be presented as like, look, here's one of his good friends listening to him tell a kind of like a dirty joke and confirming like, oh yeah, he's like this all the time, you know? <laughs> That's crazy. That's so, a wild take. This guy's seventy four. Yep. And the reason he was happy to be alive is because he saw boobs. Yes. This was when he was a kid. Yeah, he was younger. This is an old oh, story. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. This happened recently. Uh, I know, and kid, I checked out her breasts. Younger. And uh, I checked out her breasts. That's a good sound drop. <laughs> uh, and I thought, why on earth did I even think of committing <laughs> suicide? There's the Nigel in it. Uh, Ryan, you scoundrel. Ryan, you idiot. <laughs> you dumbass. Tell you, us more. What do you know? That's what I was thinking. I was thinking this needs to keep going. We might learn a lot. I feel like this could be very useful. He just keeps bringing on all these people from Hollywood. Well, the prosecutors right. might have a reason to subpoena him now because they're like, "What? Well, I'd like to know what. Exactly. What, what do you know, know, Ryan? 
Um, definitely, if there are any uh, prosecutors, because there isn't a statute of limitation on sexual crimes, then definitely Ryan Kavanaugh is might know something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's he, shocking. He might know something. <laughs> that is shocking. Holy fuck, this is good. <laughs> fuck. That's nuts. Wow. We might have to add that to the website. <clears throat> yeah, take notes. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm taking notes, yeah. <laughs> but it was, it was like, it was, you know, my mum was we in tears. Also, poor Nigel. Ryan had to come on, bring him on the first, not poor Nigel, I'm being facetious, but like, you know that like, I was going to read about him. Well, right. so I have to imagine... <laughs> Because he's, Ryan he, announced, what, he, Dan, he's like, get a load of this guy. He's way more fucked up than I am. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I uh, I have to imagine that <clears throat> because Ryan announced this back in like October or something last year, Ounces. and said that it would be so coming out in December. Uh, he said it was going to be coming out in December, and so I think he has <laughs> these banked, which means he probably recorded this and then like mm. the next day the Paul Abdul. <laughs> thing came out which that is definitely that's very be. ryan a lot of times when you start a podcast people tell you you want to have like at least three the ready lie before ever. you start uploading them i don't know why banking content is the worst thing a podcast there's something can do, about opinion. like the audio apps the podcast apps <laughs> I don't, these people are all such more they don't know anything yeah <laughs> like this some boomer ass people from an ad agency was trying to tell us how to do how to do it mm-hmm I don't know anything. So <laughs> I had the same thought as Dan, but looking into it, I'm seeing that he was removed in January. Like that's when it was publicly announced, to my knowledge, mm-hmm. that, of him being removed from his show. And then last guys, year, the beginning of last year. No, no this, year. Th- this year. Oh, okay. This year. So I'm thinking this, like they did. So this was just shoot. shot. Yeah. And also the producers that the ones that were cropped out of that photo. Yeah. They posted. They posted them shooting together, but that was earlier. But I think this one was recent because he asks him again. He asks him about being removed from his own show. Mm. So, oh, oh, well, wow. that that okay. pretty much says it. Mm-hmm. I mean, unless he knows behind the scenes, but the right. way it mm-hmm. looks. Is there a way that we can look at some physical indications of Ryan and try to match? Like, has he de- deteriorated um, a measurable amount? What do you mean? <laughs> oh, he's falling apart. <laughs> His eyes are darting all over the place. He did look worse than that one, that, which presumably was recorded just this past week, right? The conspiracy one? Yeah, he looked horrible in that one. Yeah, so maybe this was before that. He is wearing the same watch, right? It's a white one as that other podcast, you remember? I, I thought don't... it was on the same day, though. No, I'm just saying that, you know, yeah. if he's renting the watch or whatever he's doing. All right, so um, this is uh, moving on to um, 1345. Nigel says he knows Ryan is a failure because... Or or East German or other Soviet bloc dancers. So you were literally choreographing basically 100 people who didn't speak English. Yeah, I I know why you're a failure, because you keep getting all of your figures wrong. You've gone from 90 to 100. Oh, (laughs) dude, that wasn't even a joke. He's like, I don't like you, bro. You don't listen. You keep getting what wrong? Numbers, because yeah. oh, well, your figures. Yeah, that was that was ferocious. Holy shit! One literally more t- choreographing basically a hundred people who didn't <laughs> speak English. Yeah, I I know why you're a failure because you keep getting all of your figures wrong. You've gone from ninety to a hundred. Oh, it was ninety. Okay, I'm talking. Oh about my god, so math is not my strong. Oh, no, math is my strong suit, Chuck. Ryan, you're so. Oh my god, you're so personal, Nigel. That's so true. Yeah. I mean, we see that all all of last week. Now he, these numbers. Yeah, he's not good with math. He's not good with language. <laughs> it's not good with production, frankly. What is it you say you would say you're good at? Failure. <laughs> right. I gotta hear that again. To hundred. Oh, it was nine. Why why is it like that there's no levity in this? It's like he just insulted you and then everybody's super serious. Like he was making a joke. <laughs> yeah, he, he was making totally a joke. Choreographing basically a hundred people who didn't speak English. Yeah, I, I know why you're a failure, because you keep getting all of your figures wrong. You've gone from 90 to 100. Oh, it was 90. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, you know, so, math is not my strong suit. Actually, no, math no, is my strong suit. What is your strong suit? I actually, I do. Chuck, you know. Yeah, it was, it was tough. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> and, like, of all the... Wow. <laughs> Somebody in the chat said Nigel is thrust. <laughs> 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 Nigel is thrust. Oh, man. 
Dude, Nigel. <laughs> so that was funny. We're moving forward now. Let's see. Being surgical here, Ryan. Being very surgical with our um, our analysis. Just making sure that you know this would not be a market substitute in any way for watching the actual failure. Process. I don't th listen. I don't think that if we watch the whole fucking thing, I think it's fair use and wouldn't be market substitute. My what I'm doing here is making it <sighs> extremely impossible. Not debatable. Abundantly it's not even debatable. Clear. It yeah. can't even be debated. Right. Yeah. Everything we do is fair use, mm -hmm. though. And and just to even clarify that further, our last timestamp was at 13 minutes. This one's at 40 minutes. Yeah. Nice try. Wow. Ryan. What a jump. <laughs> nice try, Ryan. Send this to your attorney. They'll be like, what are you going to do? What, how are you going to sue with this? You can make you look like an idiot. <laughs> I welcome it. I really do. Big time. If he sued me for this, I would I would laugh and it's the joy. easiest dub of them all. I would yeah. I would have tears of joy and laughter in my heart. <laughs> so we're moving on to uh, forty minutes. Nigel talks about recruiting people for one of his shows. Just let it play. I think. Let Holy it, shit! Let it play. Let it play. Holy shit! <laughs> okay. So he pulled out. So I then call up another guy who's pretty cruel, fun but cruel, called Jonathan King. Did you say fun but cruel? I thought he said cool at first. And then he said like fun cruel. but cruel. No. <laughs> he said Was it cruel? No, he, he said fun but cool. No, but why would fun but cool? They don't disqualify each other. Fun yeah, you but could be fun cruel. cool. He's fun but Let's cruel. Let's hear it again. Oh, sorry. You're, sorry, cruel. Yeah, he did say cruel. That's psychotic. Yeah. <laughs> fun but cruel. I got to go back. I need a little more context. <laughs> um, so Ooh. why on earth Universal are we choosing a band to give to Universal? Yeah, it's like the two enemies working together. Big time. So he pulled out. So I then call up another guy who's pretty cruel, fun but cruel. Called Who's fun but cruel? It's an interesting combination. Hitler? I don't think he was that fun. I don't think he was very <laughs> fun. I heard he was very personable from what I've read. What? Yeah, I thought he was a weirdo. No, he he was a schmoozer. He w he got on well with like world leaders and stuff before the war and all that. Huh? I'm pretty yeah. sure he was somewhat personable. Get back, like fucking on that. weirdo, bro. Probably had to be. <laughs> I would have. I would have sniffed. Him. I would have sniffed that guy <laughs> out I, right away. How do I? Uh, Hi, Hitler. How do I, fact, <laughs> how do I fact check? <laughs> was Hitler personal? Was Hitler? Was Hitler down? <laughs> hmm. Was Hitler cool? Was Hitler was, was he cool? cool? Was he cruel? But. Also fun. But also fun. <laughs> did, did Hitler pull up? <laughs> <laughs> could could Hitler hit it? <laughs> could Hitler hit? <laughs> oh god. All right, go on, Nigel. No. We love this about you. Never. Jonathan King. And Nigel's gotta be like, bro, why did I do this again? Like Can can you back it up just a little bit? I want you to hear the whole sentence. With pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah, it's, it's like the two enemies working together. Big time. So he pulled out. So I then call up another guy who's pretty cruel, fun, but cruel, called Jonathan King. And uh, he says yes, and then he's imprisoned. Don't <laughs> know. Uh, Talk about... As, as an uh, accused pedophile. That's the cruel part. Or is that the fun well, part? That's the, the fun, fun part? Hard to know. <laughs> He was a tough businessman, but his parties know. were really fun. Yeah. Yeah. Those Great parties time. were fun. Cruel. These guys but run. Fun. <laughs> these guys run in a really good crowd, man. Yeah. And, and uh, he was talking about recruiting people for one of his shows, just to give the audience some context. <laughs> uh, wow. These guys are real nasty fucking <laughs> pieces of work here. <laughs> Holy shit, man. You posted this? <laughs> <laughs> Real quick, chat says Adolf Rizzler. <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy. Cruel but fun. <laughs> He's a lot of fun. You see this? <clears throat> oh, <anyway. laughs> <laughs> <That's laughs> <damn>. nasty. <laughs> no, this is, I just. He made a little cap. pee pee. <laughs> yeah, later in the video. How many times should we label this as a joke? Oh yeah, this is a joke. This is actually <laughs> made in Photoshop. Uh, Ryan Cavanaugh, this man right here with the yellow teeth, his teeth aren't really that yellow, and he didn't piss his pants. <laughs> it looks so like it's a very clear. Stain. This is it fake. It looks so good though. How could it be photoshopped? I know it's unbelievable, but he did not, in fact, urinate. In I'm his gonna need a right judge here. to make a call on that. You know what I think he happened? I think his diaper overfilled. Sometimes that happens. You might wear think that. Food. However, it's it's Photoshop. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, I thought <laughs> Nigel scared him. <laughs> Go nope. on, Nigel. Tell me more about your pedophile friend. 
Um, <laughs> so I'm now stuck with a week to go. Uh, and we can move on. Oh okay. my God. <laughs> Let me just see Ryan's reaction to that one more time. <laughs> cruel, fun, but cruel, called Jonathan King. And uh, can you look up Jonathan King? Is he in prison? Like he's I did, in- yeah. And this happened back in like 2001. This is a long. T- I looked it up the other day. So what happened to our cruel but Jonathan fun legend King. Jonathan King, the accused pedophile? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> God, he just looks it too. Yeah, he, yeah. God damn. I mean, oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh no. I mean, anybody. You know, it could be anybody. But I mean, come on. Yeah. Oh no. So uh, was he yeah, in jail? What happened? Uh, his uh, career in the music industry is effectively ended in 2001 when he was convicted of sexually abusing five teenage boys. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Why do you say accused? Then it sounds like he's convicted. Why would he say accused? You're running defense for a pedophile still? No. I, I Did, think he said. I don't know if he went to prison. No, he yeah, said, he he said arrested. Oh, he does. Hold yeah, on. Yeah, let, yeah, let me he, listen because he no, says he, accused. He sold him out. Uh, he sold he him says out. yes, and then he's imprisoned. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he went to prison. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, talk about as, as an accused uh, pedophile. No, but he says accused. Oh, he does say accused. You can go to prison while oh, you wait for trial. Right. Oh. He's not accused. He's convicted. That man is convicted pedophile. Good catch. They were just trolls. That is a good catch. Chaz Those says, little kids were trolls. <laughs> Chess says Nigel's like, fuck it. No one will watch this. I know, right? <laughs> he spoke that's, freely. What I, that's what I think, too. <laughs> Bro, what do you mean alleged? So let's see. Here's the full. The full. He was convicted of child sexual abuse and seven sentenced to seven years in prison for sexually assaulting five boys aged 14 and 15 in the 1980s. In November 2001, he was acquitted of 22 similar charges. Okay, so he got convicted on five, but was acquitted on 22 more. Oh, can I say? Damn. That essaying five little boys and he got seven years, that's, that's not really enough. light. It's gotta go for life. Like people who steal snicker bars go to jail for more time than that. All right. Seven um, years. This was uh, years in the UK, enough. it looks like. He's gonna get out and do it He's again. He's British. He will do it. That's the thing. He'll get out and do it again. Yes. Like this man is not safe to be in Have society. Yeah. Let me see. Wait, it was only four years? It says he was, oh, what you're saying when he was recharged. Because it says he was released on parole in 2005. Well, he was released on parole early. I mean, that happens. Yeah. He was originally sentenced to seven years. Gotcha, he got gotcha. out after four. Okay, got gotcha. yeah. Good behavior. No he, didn't, he didn't rape any kids. Yeah, no little boys in prison. Did he tweet this? What is it? What I said. He did? I don't know. if the This man's walking around with the balls to fucking... Hold on. I don't hmm? know. I got an image that Ela got. King of Hits. Is this real? I don't know. Oh, it might not be. Jonathan King. Oh, it might be him. Spring Day. Yeah. This guy, I th- that's him, right? I mean, you could... That looks like him. So he posted this with one like in 2020. This motherfucker who's R-worded kids is walk- cruising around saying Spring Day. You should be in jail still, dude. His bio says, ex-pop star, TV person, minor celebrity, filmmaker, Ooh. and target of trolls, but aren't we all? The way he used oh, minor, he's, there. he's just Wait, getting old. Poor guy. Look at um. Holy look at what shit. Cam just picked up on in his Wikipedia article. That's King his... was arrested in November and bailed for a hundred. Wait, he actually says trolls. You're not kidding. No, yeah. I'm not kidding. Yeah. This is his <laughs> description. <laughs> oh Ex pop star, TV person, minor celebrity. See, I don't like when he says minor. Yeah, that's why celebrity. Right. Because <laughs> minors is what you know. Yeah. It's his type. He uh he did write some hits though, man. What did he write? He wrote, uh, Hooked on a Feeling, you know, ah. I can't listen to that anymore. Hooked on a Feeling. Now that I know it's about R word. I believe. can't believe that he's actually calling the little boys trolls. Like, I thought I was making such a horrible joke just because of, like, Ryan. Well, he's, That's what he calls everybody. He said, filmmaker and target of trolls, but aren't we all? So, so I, true. he doesn't go as far to say that my accusers are trolls. This yeah, Twitter account is 14 years, years what? <laughs> years old? He's like, let me put it. Thing to include. <laughs> He's like, let me put it this way. This Twitter account is so old, I don't even want to fuck it. <laughs> um, um, you will want to hear this little detail that Cam found, though. What? <laughs> Go ahead, Cam or Dan. Uh, well, King was arrested in November. Uh, oh blah, blah, shit! Blah. He was bailed one hundred fifty thousand pounds, <laughs> fifty thousand of which was put up by Simon Cowell. <laughs> oh, Jesus! 
Why? No. Why? Cruel, no. but No. Look at this. Famously. Bro, Jonathan King is tweeting <laughs> defense for R. Kelly. Wow. Oh, wow. He goes, R. Wait. Kelly disgraced? He's not disgraced at all. Innocent unless and until proven guilty. Oh, well, he was. Yep. So What a oh, sick <laughs> fuck of a human He's brain. as much as media <laughs> fawns over false accusers, but it's a good story with lots of money in it. What a mm. Well, this was in 2019. Maybe he's updated his stance since, you know, he was, he was convicted. Right. He's also writing for Michael Jackson. Is he? You wrote for Michael Jackson? <laughs> Sorry, AB. If there's any proof that Michael did it, that. <laughs> I was I wasn't listening, but I just know that Michael Jackson was trolled a lot. Okay. Yeah, it's just a bunch of trolls. No, what happened? Um, what did he say about Michael Jackson? He says hashtag MJ innocent. Here's Wait, where? Here. <laughs> Dude, this guy's a legend. Oh my God. He he's a pedophile advocate. Somebody's got to advocate for them. Yeah. Everybody needs an advocate. <laughs> he, he's taken up. He's taken up the mantle that nobody else would was brave enough to uh, take. Jeez. Many who report leaving Neverland will be horrified by this. It reveals that there are millions of false accusers and those who like to hear only negative claims. MJ Innocent points out the dozens of Jackson defenders not shown in the ghastly dock. Right, but it's not about the people defending him. It's about the people that <laughs> accused him. The people that defending him clearly wouldn't know about his crimes or they wouldn't be defending him. Probably. Sorry, A.B. He did that shit after yeah, reading this. Yeah, I have to I, keep saying sorry. I'm not, I'm not writing for him. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. <laughs> no, I know. I know. I know. I'm just saying, I think, I think if I'm talking to anybody who thinks MJ's innocent, yeah. this seals the deal. I just went to Neverland. I didn't say shit. I didn't say <laughs> yeah. Don't bring that up. That still hurts. Yeah, you don't get to complain Listen, about me I gotta jokes say, after that. I got to say. I have a hole in my heart since Watching you did that. that I, Eli, we could have gone on for an hour if you weren't here. I just felt bad. But I would have been fine. Yeah, It was just, funny. I mean, you guys call out fake stuff for a living. So I was just like, man, the fact that you guys were so... I wanted to believe. I wanted to it, believe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, God. No. Um, Joe Rogan was on Alex Jones? What the fuck? Hmm? How did we get here? I just saw his name trending, so I clicked it. Oh. Alex, Joe Rogan went on Alex Jones? That's crazy. That's crazy. Isn't that just darling? Just scrolling <laughs> through all his tweets, he's just speed running, saying that everyone is innocent. Like, every known P word is in this Oh, uh, wow. Tweet. Actually, if you ask him, I don't think... I think Essay's a myth. I don't think... Um, I don't think anybody ever has done that ever. Never. Take All right. Space. So anyway, shout out to Nigel <laughs> for keeping the great company. He says alleged uh, predator, not convicted. All right. Um, moving on. Ryan keeps interrupting the guests to bring up the word failure. This sounds great. This is why I'm here. This is why I'm watching. Stole people's hearts. Oh, no. I don't know if I should and tell you this. My Jason Nash is live again. No, he's, he's always, always live. live. Yeah, he's always live. Yeah. <laughs> That's always been true. Wow! The whole thing was find out about the people. Backstory, because you Find the backstory. So this goes back to Just the failure. Just cares them. Make sure and you the care. the same as we did with pop stars. Care about them. See them getting drunk. See them say, no, I didn't have anything to drink. Show them drinking. You know, this whole thing was about people whole thing was about people and the same with pop idol now and that takes us back to your original failure which totally. is had you not gone through that you never would be at this place where you're like this show Absolutely. is only gonna work this is the whole interview nobody cares bro the whole interview ryan's interrupting f f f failure so that's a <laughs> failure and but it, but it brought you to where you're at today i mean listen i'm sure this guy has lots of interesting stories you don't have to do the whole failure stick buddy Work. It's about people. About people. Yeah. Because that's about what you didn't do the first time. Correct. And that's where the failure comes full circle. Bro, shut up. We get it. <laughs> it's like a bit how he's harping on you. We it, get it. That's it the like, name of the podcast. You get it. You get it. That's the concept. <laughs> oh, shit. Absolutely. And now we've got these two people. Um, Is that it? Yeah. Very good. <laughs> Love that. Well done, Ryan. <laughs> Moving on, Nigel says he hates the word failure. Uh-oh. Uh, 
<laughs> Ryan, that sounds awkward. Uh, and should never, and you should never even class, I hate the word failure. Uh, but, uh, uh, no, it's just, you hate our podcast. It's, it's just well, yeah, I mean, it's pretty obvious. Stupid word, because you're not failing. You, you, you haven't been successful. Not being successful is not failing. Failing is when you do something terrible or you... I'm going to step in here. Ryan has definitely failed. <laughs> you skipped one. Hey, you go to G. Oh, I did? Yeah. Ryan asked Nigel why he is not on So You Think You Can Dance anymore. Mm. Should I watch more of this? Did I miss something? No, that's pretty much Give it. up. That's fail. That's awesome. Uh, that's a really good question, Ryan. Why do you think Ryan is wearing like sweatsuits when it's... Stole people's heart? Guest is like a well-known producer. Because... He's a failure. He thinks in his mind this is his way into the, the internet world. And he's mm. going to be hip. That's why he's wearing those hypebeast shoes last time too, I think. True, he's uh -huh. wearing like $50,000 shoes or some shit. Yeah. That Zach pointed out. Yeah. In this video? No, in the last time that you guys were watching. No, in the yeah. pool side. Remember? Mm -hmm. the, oh, the photo. yeah. The yellow lobsters. Yeah. yeah. Those are those are not cheap. Hopefully someone steps on them. <laughs> oh, I hope he creases the shit. Not on purpose. I, I mean on accident, like somebody <laughs> passing by him. You know, people yeah. step on your foot. Yeah. It happens. Or gum, you know? Gum? Yeah. Oof, yeah. That oh. would be killer. Dog shit? Uh, yeah. Arts? And remember, my whole thing was find out about the people. Backstory, because you find the backstory. You, sorry, G. You went back to F. G. The one under that. Didn't you say G? Yeah, G. That wasn't G. That was F. All right, G. And G. so, sure enough, so you think you can dance was born, uh, and again, thank goodness, successful, uh, and is... it's just going into season eighteen as we okay. speak now. Um, Will you be unfortunately. A part of that? My mm -hmm. failure is they no longer want me as a judge. He brought it up. Mm -hmm. On my own program. What, so and when I did that failed. happen? That happened last year. So, oh, Ryan's like, oh, fuck. Oh. Going back to the beginning I of this. I didn't do any research. Did he so. gloss over it? Just yeah, that? that's it. That's it. <gasps> Holy that's shit. all. What a fraud. Yes. What a fraud. <laughs> wow. Oh, I knew that'd be a good one. I love that <laughs> Keemstar soundbite. Do it again. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, Ryan really, f he goes, why did that happen? And then he remembers and he's like, moving He's on. like, oh, yeesh. Right. Whoa, dude, you wow. are such a hack. It's almost like your hobby at this point, covering for... Nah, I won't, I won't go that far. Nah. That's just, a, that's just a, a stupid joke. I don't believe he covers any, he covers for any crimes. He would never. You know who's replacing Nigel? Yeah. Who? <laughs> Jojo Siwa. Yikes! No way. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> what? As a, as a, a judge, show. yeah. I mean, she probably has more relevant comments than him, though. His old ass. Yeah. Yikes! The failure is they no longer want me as a judge. On my own program. What, so and when I did that failed. happen? That happened last year. So... <laughs> Going back to no the follow up. <laughs> oh wow! It happened last year. Tell me about there that. There may have been a hard cut there. Wait, that's that's the that's the proof I don't think right so. there that he shot mm. this recently, actually, because it ha this yeah, is January. He's saying last it happened year. December. Yeah. So Ryan knows. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. If well, the the first this round. Recent. Paul Abdul's yeah. accusations were in December, but there was there was two others. Are we sure that those? No, it, I saw that Paula Abdul's came like two weeks after oh, the okay. other ones. Yeah, I remember reading that. I'll well, double check. Can you that. find the date it was published so we can know for sure? Nigel, I'm curious if you can see there's a hard cut if they move. Yeah, a lot. that's what I want right. to check right now. Yeah. Aim, thank goodness, successful. Uh, and it's just going into season 18 as we Incredible. speak now. Um, unfortunately. But if they're going to cut it, cut it here. Cut it, you know what I mean? Don't. Right. Cut it right here. <laughs> yeah, before he brings Mention, that up. Mention, yeah. To season 18 as we Incredible. speak now. Um, unfortunately, my failure is they no longer want me as a judge on my own program. When, so and when did I that failed. happen? That happened last year. So I, it doesn't seem like there's a cut, but let's, let's compare Yeah. this shot. Seems pretty. The thing is, we got to compare. Fuck. Ryan, that happened like, last year. Okay. Let's look closely. On my own at, program. Wait, so, 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 so his he's, hands and he's stuff in, is in the same spot. Yeah. yeah. There's mm -hmm. no cut. No, there's no cut. He yeah. just brushed past it. Okay. <laughs> um, he's like, yeah, so I got fired for uh, committing really 
cr crazy crimes and all this crazy. He's like, so anyway, nice. tell me about the uh, other <laughs> project. Yeah, what else are you working on, buddy? Nice. Did that Failed. Happen? Not happened last year. So going back to the beginning of this, so though, anyways, so you, you, you're at the top of the world. <clears throat> you go through a life changing event. You're reevaluating everything. And is he talking about that accusations? Yeah, Seems I guess like it, yeah. kind of in okay. vague terms. You come out of the reevaluation, um, you know, health scare, a life scare, and oh. but you get stronger from that. You come out and you take what most would argue you can't get more success than this, and you actually create more success. Bro, he's at probably at the lowest point in his life right now. Yeah, like why, are you, dude? You missing the mark so hard? Okay, okay so <clears throat> the Paula Abdul was in December of 2023 mm -hmm. and then the other girls the two other contestants were days after ah uh, Yikes! yeah so he knew about all this most yeah. likely sounds like it because he's saying it, it was last yeah. year yeah it yeah. sounds like it the way that he glazed over it was yeah. pretty telling because even like the most like amateur interviewer would be like oh tell me about that that sounds crazy now he could have <laughs> It, it is, it's not likely. I mean, it's possible he knew about it a little bit sooner, maybe before it was public, but... It all seemed to happen within, like, a week's time, though, so, I mean, regardless, yeah. this was... Brian definitely knew. Unless he did no research. We can't say definitely. Possible. We can't say definitely. Yeah, I mean, but, he, it's yeah. possible he did no research on his guests. It's a... Well, that, sure, that shows, definitely. But that's, they're that's, supposed to close friends. <laughs> supposedly. Well, based on the fact that he glossed over it, based on the fact that they're close friends, based on the fact that Ryan's in this industry and we, presumably did research on his guests, I think it's a safe bet to yeah. assume, make an educated assumption that he know about yeah. all of that shit. Well, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Well, yeah, the, them, him being removed from the show and also in the article, the interview about it, he said he's going through a hard time. So. Right. I love it. He doesn't ask. Yeah. He blew it. Oh, well, here, True. let's see where he's going with so this. So you think you can dance. And... Um, and you change dancing for the whole world because as you said prior to that. Oh, yeah, he went back. He's like, yeah mm -hmm. <coughs> Nice Ryan you really have a future mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh wait, this is so epic I So hold on we did um, the failure one we did uh, He asked why he's not on so dance. He hates the word failure here. Ryan tries to call Edison a failure Thomas Edison seated in a hundred <laughs> Thomas Edison the famous failure. Big loser. Yeah. Fucking dumbass. I'm sure he failed at some things in his life. Probably. I think it was Einstein. Uh, no, it's Edison, who who we talked about this last time. He, he had a very famous last quote. Last time. Oh, so this isn't even his first one. They did it out of order. Talked about this last time. He says right. we and last time a lot. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know we, who we dude. Is. It's like Trump. It's just very. Uh, you know, yeah. Everyone's saying we. it. <laughs> Everyone's I'll mess saying up on the. It. Numbers, but it was something like when he he finally invented the light bulb, and he had spent years finally, trying to do it. And they yeah. said, "How does it feel to invent the light bulb?" He said, "I, I didn't invent the light bulb. I just showed you nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine ways not to do it." Yeah. Did he say that? Is that a real thing? Yeah, there is. I, let me find out who exactly said it, and how it was said. But yeah, that, I know. You know, yeah. he, he <laughs> just like Ryan. Literally spent. Uh, so, he had the exact number down too. I think it was like nine thousand eight hundred seventy six ways so not he never to do failed. it. Right, but in his mind. He was saying, I did fail. I just failed 9,876 9, times. No, he succeeded. Right, but... I think... <laughs> He's like... <laughs> trying, to <make> a <laughs> trying to make a point. I love how he's pushing it back, like... <laughs> he's like, listen, the concept needs work, buddy. <laughs> oh, I think the difference in human... Oh my God, they're really going to argue about this. Vanity. Is, the, do you the, give do, up or wait, do you not give up? The, Hold yeah, the on. quote is kind the of the quote is not at all what he's characterizing. Well, it he's as. I, I'm seeing I'm seeing two different quotes because I saw what you saw, Dan. You, you're talking about the I didn't fail a thousand times. A light bulb was an invention with a thousand steps. Yes, yes, that's that oh, was so. Ryan has repurposed that quote to fit his own agenda. Well, I'm also seeing I haven't failed. I have just found yeah. ten thousand ways that won't work. Okay, he it, said I haven't failed. Yes, he started it with that. <laughs> right, either way. <laughs> Ryan, you gotta, you gotta also, rethink, whole, man. This whole thing Ryan was honing in on, on he gave like a specific number. I don't see that anywhere. It, it's a thousand <laughs> times. It's a nice round number. I yeah. get the Wait, feeling. So it's like a very Ryan made it 9,800 whatever. 
Yeah, very like, specific number. Yeah, that it's started he, with nine thousand. He remembers because that's how many death threats he was getting every hour. <laughs> <laughs> how could he forget? He's just making up. Yeah, it was one point twenty one gigawatts. Yeah. Uh, well, Nigel's right then, because Ni actually Nigel proved yeah. himself to be more uh, wise, because he's like, that's not failure. And if you go back to the original quote, Edison clearly agrees. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he agrees. What an idiot. So but Maybe Ryan should, if he understands that he's bad with numbers, maybe he should avoid listing exact numbers. Or being a financer. <laughs> well. Right, that is just... kind of like his, his thing, supposedly. <laughs> Numbers. Well, that yeah, he had his big thing was he had this algorithm that he said I can prove mathematically that certain movies will be money makers and other mm. ones. Mm. And him being the math genius he is, his business went bankrupt. <laughs> <Crushed>. <laughs> so, but that's not even the epic part about this conversation is that he keeps trying to argue that Edison is a failure. And the other guy's like, how is he a failure? I want to listen, actually. Yeah. I want to listen. Well, and if, that's if, what the question if, is. If, if he'd have given up, <laughs> yep. we'd have never have had the light bulb. Right. And he would have failed. Right. He didn't <laughs> fail. Yeah. Well, I guess it comes a question of what point he failed and failed and failed, but never stopped failing until he succeeded. Yeah, that's what I just said. Do you really think oh that that's God. an interesting point to, to try to argue? Look how dumb he is. Look at this face. <laughs> <laughs> what a moron. <laughs> Ugh. Ay, ay, ay. Ryan. He's like tomato, tomato, whatever. <laughs> That's the way I look at it. Okay. I look at it that he didn't fail. <laughs> <laughs> they, both, they, they both won't let it go. They it's actually it interesting. Go. Like that's really cool. It's a, it's a, you know, that, uh, he's we're saying back. one and the same thing. So, so let me ask you. So, it's, it's a totally no, different mental. Oh, <laughs> we're saying the opposite. Dude, Nigel's amazing for this. I love his dedication. It's to It's funny that Nigel is actually more correct in the way that yeah. that well, quote was in reality. <laughs> like it's way closer to what Nigel is saying. Well, despite yeah. him being an accused predator. He was actually, unlike Ryan, successful and seemingly a smart guy. Yeah, mm -hmm. cruel but fun. One might say he's <laughs> cruel but fun. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, he's talking to like a real showbiz success. Yeah. And he's obviously a total fraud. <laughs> so you can see the difference here. Mental <laughs> attitude. Well, Ryan's like, no, my life is all failure, 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 failure. Mm -hmm. and he's like, no, no, no. Well, Edison's not a failure because he made the light bulb. And then Ryan's like, fuck. Fuck. Maybe I'm just a failure. <laughs> not everyone not else. Person. Just me. You're kind of right because shortly he, after he's like, "Yeah, you know, we were thinking about naming this something else." <laughs> oh God. Oh God. He's the so first episode. About it. Oh my God. They're bailing on the first episode. You know, to me, I think the reason we're using the word failure is, and the reason we focus on failure, is a lot of people are just so disheartened with the world today, right? And it's yeah. so, what? everything's all about Instagram <laughs> and look how pretty this person is and all the influencers are so amazing and you know, oh, that's you, Ryan. Rich and You're describing yourself, yeah, Ryan. Yeah, that's literally oh, your true. life. Yeah. This when, is the most surface level, like dumb ass podcast conversation ever. Like <laughs> he's so uninteresting, it's painful. Yeah. Everything's great and look, everybody's life is perfect. Like I'm sure, you know who would be a great host for this? Brad the Bull. <laughs> yeah. Should come sub in. He's Brad the Bull should come sub in for him. He's no, Ryan's the sub, actually. <laughs> oh, <Ryan. laughs> nice. And on this show, most people assume, oh, you know, Nigel, he's British and dresses well and did an American Idol and so you think you can dance and what a privileged guy who just had tons of success, right? And now, <laughs> so what, he's the British. like, <laughs> wow, he... You know he, what he's, you know what he's doing? Wait, what? <laughs> He, he's what he's doing is saying that um, people look at me like a nepo baby, but what they don't know is that I actually worked and earned this stuff all by myself. Right. I got a small mm. loan of a million dollars. That was it. Yeah. <laughs> I made a whole film production studio at 25. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like you do. But also, just real look, quick to add to Ryan's, you know, they look at you and say you're British, you dress well. I, he forgot to say they look at him and say, oh, he's accused of sexual assault mm -hmm. multiple times. I think that's what more people are seeing as they're watching this. That's rough, yeah. yeah.
that's definitely rough. These trials and tribulations, and most people don't have that that stamina to just not give up and not give in, right? And and just fight through it. And I th I disagree. I think people are fighters, and they're and all. If, look, failure, success doesn't mean like becoming a millionaire all the time or making some groundbreaking invention or whatever the fuck you do on a day-to-day -day basis. I mean, success can mean a lot of things. And I think people in general do push and work hard towards things that are important to them every day, mm -hmm. all the time. You're not special. In fact, raising kids alone is like yeah. the hardest thing in the world. Like you're the outlier, bro. You're the one that failed. We're all doing great. <laughs> it's just you. <laughs> I think Part of this is for those people who are just at that brink where they're about to give up and they feel like they're a failure. Yeah. They, they haven't failed, but they feel like they're a failure. They've been told they're a failure. So he's, well, walk, he's walking it back now. He's yeah. talking to himself. We can move on to the next timestamp because we're running out of time. We got mm. 3.55. That's so good. All right, we're moving on to um, Nigel asks Ryan if he is a failure. Good question. Failure. Let me ask you a question then. Yeah. Straight question. Brian Kavanaugh, are you a failure? <laughs> no, I am not a failure. <laughs> <laughs> I have proof to the contrary. <laughs> I wish he would have kept going. I feel like this could have been one of those Robin Williams, Wrong. it's not your fault moments. If he would have just kept <laughs> digging a little more. Mm. <laughs> but I have Brian failed. Kavanaugh, uh, have you been unsuccessful? Yes, but I've also failed a million times. Wait, you just said yes, but also I failed. <laughs> what? So what we say is, Nigel's like, this guy's full of shit. Yep. God. Success has many fathers and failure has none. And this show is a place where failure has a father. Success, and I'm here. We, we have success as many parents, failure as an orphan is what. Right. So, so he corrected. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's the saying? Success has many fathers. Parents, parents and failure. Failure's the orphan. orphan. Why? Because nobody wants to own failure. Mm, yeah, that makes more sense than the way. So wait, Ryan what? How did Ryan say it? Success <laughs> has many fathers, and failure has none. And this <laughs> it was John Kennedy who said, "Success has many fathers, but failure is an orphan." This was my ass. What? He has a knack for like taking quotes and making them <laughs> dumb as shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's a good talent. The show is a place where failure. Has a father. And success, I'm here. We, we have success as many parents, failures, and orphan is what. Right. In so England here, well, the whole point of failure, our show yeah. is did to show people. Did happen? Nigel's kind of a legend for the way he's just thrashing Ryan all this whole episode. He is also an accused predator. But I, I hedge my state, mm -hmm. my compliments with, uh, mm -hmm. with that. As a home. But to show people also on. that they're not. To the final. All right. And then moving on. We have uh, Nigel asks, at, Nigel says he hates the word failure again. Uh-oh. <laughs> the argument continues. Failure is mm, just a bad word. <laughs> yeah, I just dislike the word failure. Love this podcast. <laughs> hate the word failure. It's okay. Listen, that's it's, part it's, of what we're here for is to yeah, embrace slash hate. I mean, it, when I say it, it's embrace the fact that you're going to trip and trip. Call it. Can you just let him talk? You already said it like so many times. Mm -hmm. God, he's so bad. I love how he looks like he's looking out the window to look at the word failure again. Like, <laughs> oh shit, maybe I shouldn't have had that in the background. <laughs> Should I... um? I can offer to give him a master class. I can do a mm -hmm. podcast master class for him. That'd be cool. I'd do that. I'd do it. Let's strike a deal. Let's make a deal, Ryan. You certainly could use any advice. Do a little you tutoring. <laughs> Failure or say, I'll, I'll come over to your studio fail. and we'll uh, we'll turn the camera the other direction so it's not directly <laughs> into the window. I'll hook you up. 101, baby. Yep. You know. Well, 101. 101. Yeah. <laughs> But whatever you you're call it. You're always going to fail. <laughs> right. You're always going to be. But you're not a failure. You're always okay, going to be unsuccessful. <laughs> yep. Uh, but you do not have to be a failure. Uh, you think we should change it that we were originally going to call it dare to fail? No. No. That's what. That, no. Shut up. <laughs> that is actually a worse title even. even. Dare to fail. <laughs> Dude, Nigel is fucking hates Ryan. 
Failure. <laughs> I think we should change it that we were originally going to call it Dare to Fail. No, no. No, no. But if you you so like the name? Yeah. Okay. Failure is perfect. Okay. <laughs> uh, just deny it. Yeah. And deny it but, in yourself. But here's where I'll deny it is there, and there's so many points in my Are life. Are you a failure now? No, but there's so many points where I thought I... Mm, we can definitely debate that. Sounds like that. you think you are. <laughs> yeah, there's doubts. There are doubts. Well, point to one thing you're succeeding at. Let's start there. I thought you said you're the father of failure. Right. Too. Like, the, choose a lane. He's the god of failure. It, it's kind of epic, though, that he's being shit on by Nigel because he is a piece of shit. But from what I understand from this interview, he is responsible for some of like, the most famous television shows like American Idol. Mm -hmm. He's the real deal. Yeah. And frankly, seeing them sit next to each other and talk, you can tell that yeah. Ryan's a total imposter. Yeah. And this guy knows what he's talking about. What do you mean? He, he, he founded me Marvel sick. Studios. <laughs> <laughs> True. I forgot. But I was. This, if you'd this ask man me, made Ghost Rider. True. Mm. Points, I'd say yes, right now I'm a failure. Right. But so, now, right now, because so I So you would have been wrong. You're right. 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 <laughs> but that's the point, is oh my looking God, back. Just at, move on, man. Jesus Christ. Christ. I didn't <laughs> fail. Life gave me that because I needed it yeah. to get to the next step of where I was going to be. I never yeah. knew what that was going to be. Yeah, I, I think that's you the most important thing and the best <laughs> so advice you can give to anybody is that there are other avenues. It's because you've been unsuccessful at this one thing doesn't mean you're going to be unsuccessful at that. So is he going to have this conversation every episode? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I'm so curious to see if he tries to interject the word failure as much in the next episode. We'll see. <laughs> Hopefully someone told him he got to chill with that, but who knows? So that's our boy. Um, very exciting. Um, I look forward to the second episode, frankly. Can't wait. But uh, he so curious really- how the Bryce one goes. <laughs> Listen, as a friend and a fan of Bryce, I look forward to that. I think Bryce is, will probably be a good interviewee. Um, but I, I definitely look forward to And, I mean, as, first as, uh, as far as first podcast episodes go, I think having Nigel on in the wake of this scandalous accusations um, was a really interesting step. And brushing right over it. Brushing it. <laughs> and actually, and then saying, that's the Nigel I know. Mm. Let's not forget that. Here, let me open that one more time because that was my favorite part. <laughs> that I think was the was the um yeah the big moment of the show for that me. Was C. Yeah, let's take a look. I really wish he had started rambling with this <laughs> yeah. Nigel guy about and when I woke Wikipedia up. editor commune. <laughs> he wanted to. Yeah, he did. He wanted oh. to. It's like how much do you know about Wikipedia, <laughs> Nigel? It'll, it'll come up. My, my mother had come down from Liverpool and she was sat next to the bed as I came to and this beautiful nurse was on the other side of the bed leaning over me uh, and I checked out her breasts uh, and I thought, why? The way he said it with like not a hint of sarcasm mm -hmm. is really creepy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the fact that he wasn't like, yo, cut that, cut that shit I yeah. said about breasts <laughs> being a creep. He didn't hesitate even a little bit. It was just like, and of course, obviously, didn't I checked smile. out the nurse's breasts. Yeah. Didn't smile. He also says mother is sobbing to to my to the side of my <laughs> right. bed, and I'm checking out this nurse's mm. breast. <laughs> awesome. Uh, did I even think of committing <laughs> suicide? There's the Nigel in it, uh, but it was Nigel's like you don't know me. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's like, <laughs> fuck yeah, dude. Wait, that was. I mean. That was a really crazy that's comment. Such a bad comment, yeah. considering the timing of everything that's it's, happening. Even, even not, it's not something you want to say about. Like it makes Nigel look like a freak. Yeah, and it makes Ryan look like he's covering. It's horrible. I mean, that's just the worst thing you could say, probably. <laughs> like if you went in a lab and you're like, "Let's think of the most damaging thing I can say about both of us." I think you would, I think the AI would crunch the numbers and say, there's the Nigel I know. <laughs> well, well done, Ryan. We're all very excited for you. Very excited. Very happy. Maybe what we should do um, is do a write-up summary review yeah. of the first episode <laughs> mm -hmm. and then put it on our website. Yep. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I was thinking the same. We'll embed the video so we'll get like video search. It's oh, for it's him. We'll embed the YouTube link. Yeah, well, and our review of it. Yeah. Um, just such a good informational article there. And so, yeah. um, well, that's really good because we can, even if we watch the first video, we can see it's called uh, Episode 1.
with Nigel uh, Lithgow. That's great. Yeah. yeah I'm excited. I, yeah. That's exciting. Good stuff. All right. Listen, I got to run. It's four. We you got, got a two-year-old to go celebrate. Yeah. And then they'll be with our birthday boy. That went by so fast. I mean, God, we're probably doing yeah. it's not three hour, yeah, just about a three-hour show. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. That was a fast three hours. I guess. Yeah. Why bye? I'm having too much having fun. fun over here. Well, everyone, have a great weekend. Love to see you. Hate to see you go. <laughs> That's what Nigel says when his nanny walked out the door every time. <laughs> <laughs> that scoundrel. Um, have a great weekend, everybody. It's been a great, fun week of shows, and we'll have another great, fun week uh, next week. So have a great weekend, and we'll see you all on Monday. Ta-ta. Ta-ta.